Okay, I'll make sure it's recorded. All right, good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. All right, oh man. So uh, I wanna wish you a good morning. Hopefully you had some rest or whatever it is. Um, this is Super Easy Forex, and this is our last class for this week with me. However, this evening you should have a class with uh, Mr. Irving, and uh, hopefully uh, you had uh, a good trading week thus far. Uh, the markets have acted up a little bit yesterday, uh, well, quite a bit yesterday. They acted very sporadic last, uh, last night. I actually stayed up and watched it happen. Uh, and it lasted from the time of the London Open until about two to three hours afterwards uh, is when the milk market settled down. Uh, so pretty much the markets went crazy. But <laughs> that's one of the reasons why we kind of hold off or just have a nice size stop loss uh, to protect the accounts. But yeah, it was some ridiculous stuff going on. Uh, but here, let's go over the rules of the room. Uh, number one, I'm not your financial advisor. If you need financial advice, please go find a professional financial advisor. Number two, uh, when we are doing question and answer, please make sure that when you are, it's your turn to speak, please make absolutely sure that your background noise is under control because uh, this is being recorded for many others to be able to utilize and hear later on. And then third and last not, but not least, please make sure, please make sure, please make sure that when uh, you are trading that you are not using funds that you cannot afford to lose. Please make sure you're using what's called quote unquote disposable income. All right. So there is a tool. <laughs> yep, I'm hit the record. Thanks, author. Um, there is a tool that I just put into the group, and I had gotten it from somewhere. I forgot where uh, I got it. I had it for a little while, just forgot all about it. And it's a lot size calculator. I'm going to bring it on screen so you can actually see what it is. Okay, and it's just a free gift uh, for you guys to be able to utilize. And it's really small. Once you add it onto the charts, and I'll show you here. Uh, let me see, you have this tool right here, okay, and you, it's a indicator and it's, you just make sure you click both of these boxes here, then right here in the inputs, right here is very simple, whatever pair you're trading, you can measure from where your, you know, from where your entry is to your stop loss, and then you just put that in there. I typically have mine's on like a 50 pip stop loss, 550.0. Then it's asking you how much of your account do you want to risk? And so with this account, I said I only want to risk 2%, 2.0. If you want to risk 5%, you put 5.0, okay? If you want to risk 10%, 10.0, okay? But for the sake of monitoring and managing your money, like we talked about with the gentleman yesterday, you can you put 2.0, okay? 2.0, and this is not my indicator, so don't be, if it ain't working for you, it works for others, but if it ain't working for you, don't blow me up or nothing. You're just gonna have to go find one, okay? I'm just telling you up front, this is not our indicator. This is one I had for quite a long time, but I did not create it, okay? So again, don't blow me up if it don't work for you, okay? You're gonna have to find one that's similar to it, okay? Um, but that's all you do. You just put those two things in there and then you click okay. And as you can see here, right here in this small little corner, it tells you exactly what information. So if I was to take this trade using a 50 pip stop loss, now how do you do that? You get this plus button here, before you actually put take the trade to figure out if it is 50 pips, I usually just use mine, leave it there standard. Uh, but if you take your crosshair and then drag it and measure to the top of this, it's actually only 44 pips. As you can see in the middle number, it says 441. You drop the middle, the, I'm sorry, you drop the last number in the middle. If you see 441, you drop the last number in the middle and it gives you 44 pips, okay? In addition to that, on the last number, you see 77.970, that's actually the actual number that you will be placing in your stop, in your, in your uh, stop loss, as your stop loss. But for the sake of argument for this tool, it's basically saying 44. So if I wanted to go in here and change it, instead of this being 50 pips, I will put 44.0, Still leave it at two pips, 2% uh, risk. Click OK. 
And then it tells me, okay, well, I had two of them on there. Hold on one second. Give me a second. Get rid of you. And then this one. Sorry, I had to add it twice. Okay, there we go. And there it is. And as you can see, it's real small. And that's why I like it, because it's real small and out of the way. But it's telling me, okay, if you want to use a 44 pip stop loss with 2% risk on this account, you can actually trade 7.13 lots. So that means if I'm going to take this trade using this account because of the amount that I have in there, I can actually put in 7.13 and take this trade using that, that risk calculator. And now I know that no matter what, I'm only risking 2% of my account. If you want to change it to risking 1% of your account, you can change that and then this will be your lot size. It's telling you what you told its risk value is going to be and you, this is what your stop loss was, okay? So you can do that on any pair. Uh, now, the only challenge is if you're chain trading the NASDAQ you know, or something like that, which don't go by pips, you might run into some trouble. But with normal... Uh, normal currency pairs, you'll be perfectly fine. So what will this do for you? It'll help you to manage your money, okay? Because the gentleman, we was talking about this yesterday, uh, where there was a little challenge because it got excited on the trade and started adding, 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 and it ended up exceeding his, his original idea of how much he wanted to risk on the trade. Well, by having this little small tool available, and it's really small and out of the way, you clearly can control yourself. You can control your urges. So now you set your risk amount. You know for sure the hell of high water. No matter what, it helps me not to blow my account. Why? Because I'm only risking how much? 2% of the account or 3% or 1% of the account. Whatever it is, that's how simple it is. Just enter the stop loss number that you're going to have. And then number two, how much of your account do you want to risk? And then it will spit out for you the lot size. And it will automatically change per pair. So as you can see here, a 44 pip stop loss, 2% risk is saying I can actually do 10 pip, 10.80 lot size on this one. Why? Because the pair is more is less expensive. If I go to the GBP or let's look at gold, uh, gold see when it gets to gold and other things like that, it kind of calculates differently, okay? So that's why I said it, it's really meant for uh, currency pairs. Um, so now let's look at this. Now it says if I do a, on this trade, on this one, if I want to enter this trade with a 44 pip stop loss, 2%, I can actually trade 6.63. So you see, based on how much money is in your account and the currency pair and how much it costs to trade that pair, because here's the cost right here. As you can see, to trade the GBP USD. Right here, it's telling you the price. The cost is 1.22 something, blah, blah, blah. But if you go over here to the Aussie, you'll see it's only 64 cents, six point da, da, da. So it can actually calculate that for you and tell you, okay, if you want to do this one, then da, 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 okay? And some of these are going to be approximately the same. Like this one ain't too far off because the AUD and the AUD USD and the GBP USD both have the USD involved. So it's about the same in price to this calc risk calculator, okay? So no big deal. So if it works for you, praise God. If it don't, don't use it. But don't email me, don't blow me up, don't hit me up in chat. I'm just trying to help y'all out with something. And this one, I did not create it. So therefore, if you have any challenges with it, just don't use it, okay? Moving on with class today, all right? But it's in there, and there we go, okay? All righty then, short and sweet, short and sweet. Um, okay, hold on, okay. So anyway, what I'm going to do today is go straight to the Q&A session to see if you guys have any questions for me today. And what we're going to do is we're going to keep today real simple. We're going to keep it real simple. Uh, we're going to just run through questions until people have no more questions at all. And once you have no more questions at all, then we're done for today. All right. 
So if you have questions and you're brand new, that's the other thing. If this is your first time, type a number one in the box. Hi, Rich. All right, good. Nice to see you, Rich. All right, Natalie. Okay, good, good. All right, anybody else? All right, so if not, that means we've got some old heads up in here. David, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, great, great. So here's what I want to do. Go ahead and start raising your hand, and let's go ahead and talk, okay? We get a lot of emails, and I tell the team, hey, don't, don't, don't try to respond because you're going – what happens is – is that when when you guys send emails, what happens is, is that we can send you an answer, but then if it ain't clear, you send back a response. We send another answer, and then you send another question, and then you send another question, and then another email, and it can turn into a whole 30 minute thing. This is why I got other people who's helping to answer emails sometimes, because. You know what? No, man, I'm not about to do 30, 30 plus emails when you can just come here, raise your hand. I can answer your question in five minutes or less and know that you understand what I was saying. So that's why I prefer to answer you guys with in class and not through emails. And please, I do not. I do not answer telegram questions. OK, I do not. And I, my staff are not permitted to answer answer telegram questions so if you send questions through telegram they're going to tell you you got to send an email to super easy forex and they'll try to help you out and if it's trading questions or charting questions or whatever they're going to tell you the same thing i'm telling you now come to class so i can talk to you about it okay because it's too confusing and words if you put too many cap locks on the word they think you're cussing them out and all this stuff we ain't getting to all that just come on to class raise your hand and let's get to talking okay so go right ahead. If you have a question, raise your hand. I'm waiting on y'all. If there's no questions, I'm going back to bed. <laughs> I'm going back to bed. All right. Um, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just the pistol man button at the right corner. Yeah, click on the button. I'm waiting on y'all. I don't know. To be honest with you, because what I have on my end it ain't what y'all got on y'all's end. Can somebody help uh, uh, Indira out, please? How do they rate? How do you guys raise your hand? Somebody said this in the in the corner. Because what I have as options here. Ain't the same. Oh, see? Okay, there you go. It worked. All right, I got you. Okay, I'm unmuting you. Come on now, unmute. Okay, there you go. And dear? Okay. Let me turn uh, that and hear you. Um, well, I've only been watching a few of the video, the past videos, right? But I'm not too clear what the auto Fibonacci is for. And um, also, when I put it on, like in some areas, I will see uh, like a green line, and sometimes it will be going up, and sometimes it will be going down. Okay. So I don't know what that is for. Hold on. I don't either. <laughs> but here's what we'll do. here's the truth. I always turn it off. So let me show you what I mean. I, I don't use that. It's just a projection. Um, and that it's just a projection of where things could go. So right here is the unretraced zone color. So if I add this in, and that's how it is when you first load it on. Okay. You see that little suggestion of okay, it could potentially come down if it drops it's going to come down through this area potentially but you know you can leave it there if you want to i don't so i always just leave mines and uh, and turn mines to none which means i just turn it off i don't need that so right here i just put none make sure these two and then i change my color i change mine to a dull gray 
a dim gray because I just want it to be a, like a shadow in the background. I don't need it real loud and boom, 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 you know, and all up in my face. Let me show you what I mean. Watch this. Woo! See, I can see it real good, you know. Now, if that's your color and you want to do it, go right ahead. But for me, I just want to, I want less colors. I just want to see the, uh, the arrows as much as possible and less colors. That's why even my candles are grayed out. So with my uh, fib levels, mm -hmm. I actually just choose to color dim gray, just to gray it out. But again, you can customize this to whatever you want and then just click okay. But just turn that thing off and you don't have to worry about it. I don't know what they, why they put it there. It's just a suggestion of wh what direction it could potentially go in, which is down in this particular case. And if it does go down, it's showing you the different levels of the pass through. Okay. And another question, um, the auto Fibonacci lines, right? Could I use that to like set the profits? Yeah, did you go through the tutorials? Yeah, I went through a few tutorials and I've been using it to set take profit. So that is what it is for, to set take profit. Yeah, yeah, and it's a suggestion to use it and why. Oh, okay. and, and I'll show you why. Let's look at some setups, okay? So let's look at right here, and I'm sorry that every time I'm, let me unlock my screen. And every time I move it over, it scrunches up the screen. I don't know why it's doing that. But anyway, let's take a look at this triple arrow setup here, okay? So as you can see, as it was going upwards, look at the Fibonacci lines. And let me maybe make them blue so you can, can you see them okay, the, my gray lines? Yeah, I see them. Okay, all right, cool. So as it was going up, what's the first line it touched? Right here, see? So yeah. you got in, you could embed the Fibonacci, uh, take profit right there. Then as it was going up, it went to this one next. That could have been a take profit level right there. And then when it got to the next triple arrows, you just get out of all of them and, and call it a day. And then as you see, when it was going down, it went through this Fibonacci level first, and then you get out of it all together. And so you can see it plays, look, and this is another good one right here. See the triple arrows came in, it hit this first take prop on uh, Fib level, then it hit this Fib level, then it hit this Fib level, and then it hit this Fib level, and then reverse. So you can use these as potential take profit levels. That's what you use it for. Because it's pretty popular areas where price tend to react. Okay, all right. And I have just one more question, right? Uh -huh. um, concerning the trend lines, right? Um, the dotted line that goes through in the middle, what that is for? I'm sorry, say again? On the trend lines, right? You know, you'll have the two solid lines, like what we're seeing right now. Uh huh. But in the middle, there's a dotted line. That one here? Yeah. I don't know. They just designed it that way. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, what well, they gonna do? I'm never gonna try to make up an answer if I don't know for sure. If I don't know, I, I'm being honest. I don't. When I design something, I know why I put it there, and I can tell you exactly why I put X, Y, Z. Like when we, it's time to release the new indicator, I'll be going in very great detail as to why we put this here. Why do we put that there? How does this function? What's that? Because I designed it. But when I'm using somebody else's, you know, tools or whatever, um, then, you know, I, hey, they just liked it there. That's why. And, you know, it is what it is. Okay. All right. I thought that was some sort of indicator. No, but you can. Oh, now, did you see how I just got rid of it, though? Oh, it, oh, it, it comes it right back. No, don't just disregard that. It comes right back. Okay, and uh, you could just go back over the, the first question with the Fibonacci levels with ask about the green stuff that pop up. That, that is not important, right? Nope. Not to me. Mm -mm. Okay. Just an option. Okay, I thought that was some kind of indicator. All right, well, that's I mean, it is an indicator. It's part of the it's part of the fibs, if auto fibs, but it's not necessary to use. It's an option if you want to look at it as a projection of where price action may go. You can use it, but I don't because I don't need that as a projection. I use my own charts. Okay, all right. Yep. Well, thanks. That's that's all the questions I really had. Okay, cool. Well, nice meeting you. Okay, and I think you too. All right, cool.
And see, I remember them telling me about your email. See, we see how we got it done in detail real quick and clean. See, I like that. I like that. All right, let me get to Somali. All right, Somali, go right ahead. Somali. I heard you at first. Okay. All right. Maybe that was an accident. All right. Let me go to Richie. Richie. Hey, y'all. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you real good. Hey, good morning. Uh, I really don't really have a question. I just gotta. Uh, I just wanted to encourage the younger guys, like, like, uh, like 19, 20 years old. Uh, as far as the forest journey, they kind of. I just want to let them know they kind of coming in at a good time to learn the skill set that can benefit them uh, in their life into adulthood because uh, I kind of wish I would have started earlier, but you, some, I, like honestly, Uncle Pete, I ain't gonna lie, I grew up in the hood. So in the hood, they weren't teaching nothing about no forest, no investing, no credit, none of that stuff. So I'm, I, I, if I had somebody like you when I was 19, 20, I'll I, I, probably be better off, but I'm, I'm glad I got in now that I'm in. Because I, honestly, I didn't learn about like credit and all that till I got to, a, I want to say maybe 25 or 26. Yeah. And I'm 29 now, so that's almost recently. And then most people, it's like, you just learned it. I'm like, in the hood, they ain't teaching none of that stuff. So mm -hmm. I, I, I thank God for you to, for doing this to teach it, to bring the younger guys up to get them something constructive to do. Because like uh, the, uh, the older guys used to always say, man, ain't nothing out there in the street. Because only two things that happen to you is the majority of the, the guys that I grew up with, they either one of them two places. So I'm just, yep. uh, this that you teach them, it, it, it could be uh, a way out for some of the young guys who ain't really got nothing to do and trying to be in the streets because it ain't really nothing out there. So I just, you know what's cool, man? Uh, I actually grew up in the hood too, man. <laughs> man, did I grow up in the man. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You know, man. man. But you know where where I grew up. Let me rephrase that because my mom and dad they had us in a very, uh, in a decent neighborhood, so it wasn't a bad neighborhood or something like that. But when I first started out on my own, because see, one of the things I did, bro, I was so so out there, bro. When I was in high school, I ended up on my own. Uh, I got out by my, by my parents' house when I was still in high school because yeah. I was just living too fast, and they just like, man, look, partner, you need to go handle your business if you this way you're gonna be, you know. And so I was still in high school when I was on my own. Um, and so from there, when I finally landed, thought I was doing my own thing, I ended up living in the hood spots and everything else. So yeah, I agree with you, man. They wasn't teaching that stuff, but, but no matter where I was, and this is for everybody, no matter where you are, no matter what your situation is, I share with you guys where I thought I was the man and then I ended up feeling, falling flat on my face getting that wick and Similac to feed my family, standing in the government line to get free cheese and butter because I was so broke, had nothing, bro. Um, yeah. You know, but my mentality was always, I'm gonna be successful. I just knew it. I just knew it. And I, I just always knew that I was gonna be successful at something. Now, what that was, I don't know, but I just knew I was going to be successful at something. And so, I just had that hustle mentality that I'm going to do what I'm, I'm going to do when I'm going to do and I'm going to learn what I'm going to learn and then go back and teach others to try to grab as many people as possible. Because even when I was in the hood, we, our family was the most popular one on the block. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody used to come and hang out with us, pray with us. I had, I was the only one with a basketball court, you know, that one of them little stand up courts and everybody from the hood, all the dope dealers from the corner, when they came in to in front of the house, they already knew, hey, ain't no cussing and smoking and acting fool. We're going to hang out. And do you know, man, we used to have like 10 and 20 of them hanging out in front of the in front of the house. Selling, they, they never sold dope. They always respected the da-da-da. But I try to bring people in. Man, look, we can we can, we can can do something positive, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. yeah we, we did. And I appreciate you telling them that, man. This is the new, this going to be one of the new hustles, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's gonna have to be one of the new hustles. Because, as a matter of fact, even the dope that they were selling on the street, they legalized marijuana. You can't even sell that no more. Why? Because they want their tax money. So, why not learn a skill that you can take with you for the rest of your life? And literally, this whole company, like I said before, and I'll say again, 
I'm still surprised about what's going on because we weren't trying to open up a company like that to grow it. It just happened. People started asking, but realistically, I built this for my kids. Even the newer system that's coming out is really for the kids. It's not what it wasn't for the grown folk, but I made it simple enough that if I can teach it to my kids then I should be able to teach it to anybody. And so I wanted to leave a legacy for my children like my dad did for me. God rest my dad's soul. That was all oh, my that was my dude. But let me tell you guys this and I'll get to the next question. Okay. So what my dad did, he always used to talk to, I got four brothers and four sisters. And my dad used to always talk to us about doing real estate, always dreaming about real estate. He used to drive us around looking at properties and doing real estate. The closest he got to it was buying the house we lived in and the one next door he had as a rental property. Okay. So he taught all of us about it. But out of all nine, I was the only one who followed up on it. And then that's how I was able to retire after I got out that pigeonhole that I was in about when I was in about 19 or 20, where I was so poor and everything else. And I ain't going through the whole story, but that's how I ended up getting into real estate because I followed what my dad taught. He didn't, he never went to school for it or anything else, but I just followed up with it. And I ended up retiring when I was in my twenties. I think I was the first time I retired, I retired in when I was 28 years old, something like that. And, and yeah, see, so if people be tripping off of this Forex stuff, man, please, I've been doing stuff long before I even heard of Forex. I was already doing okay. So I miss all that with, oh, he's trying to get over on people for Forex, man, whatever. That's cool. Think what you want. But I've always tried to learn stuff as an entrepreneur. I own daycares. I've owned restaurants. I did this, that, that, and that. And then I always try to go back and teach people so that you can learn how to be independent too. I don't even have a degree. Right. I don't need one. For what? I'm an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur hire people with degrees. We are, don't need one. Why? Because we're the owners. So an owner don't need to prove or apply for to work at a place. Why? Because we're the owner. So I always studied what was necessary. I have certifications as a certified life coach. I've written books. I have, I held two real estate licenses, never sold one property. I just went to school to get my license so I can learn what the real estate agents were doing. So when I need to hire them, I knew you can't get over on the brother. See that hood mentality? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That, that why if you write about the mentality thing because, man, in the hood, man, it's just certain people, they just, they mind is just, just the hood alone. That's it. They don't have no yeah. mentality. That's the hood. So that's all they know. So yeah. I, I had got an opportunity, to, uh, a job opportunity out, out of town. And I had took it. Because I'm like, man, I can't wait to get out of here. So the first opportunity I got to get out, man, I took that job. Yeah. And, and uh, I just ran with it. And I had another job prior to uh, learning for it. When, uh, it, was, uh, it was tying up a lot of my time. So I actually... Got another job and took a pay cut just to, so I could learn, take the time out to learn how to pay for it. But I'm looking at it in the long term. I ain't looking at it really for right now. So. But here's what I want everybody to do. Everybody understand this. What my mentality is, here's my mentality. My mentality is I will always run forward because I want to know what does God really have for me? What can right. I really do? with my life. I don't want to live in a pigeonhole situation. I want to pursue whatever God has for me because I, all of us are limited supply on this planet. One day we're all going to expire. I don't care how healthy you eat. I don't care if you eat grass and, and, and wheat germ every single day. Eventually you're going to expire. Everybody does. But in the meantime, I want to know, God, what do you have for me? And while I'm running, watch this, while I'm running forward, pursuing what I have, what God has for me, my hand is always reaching back to try to grab whoever wants to come along. One thing I don't do, I don't make people come along. If you tell me you're not interested, I'm cool with that. I got my, some of my kids, they, they're just, you know, they don't want to trade. And I'm okay with that. Some do, some don't. I'm okay with that. I ain't got no problem. Whatever's in your heart that you want to do, I'll support you. I don't expect you to just follow me just because I did it just like my dad. He taught nine children how to do real estate. Who did it? Just one. And that's okay. No problem. Everybody else is doing what they want to do. Cool. But what I will do is I'll offer my hand to say, if you want to come along with me, here's where I'm going. I may make some mistakes. I may deviate in the wrong area, but just 
you know, apply that to my heart as not, not to my head. Or apply it to my head, not to my heart, because my intentions is that wherever I'm going, I'm going to try to reach back and grab whoever I can so you can come with me so we can all get up out of here. It's great that I made it out the hood, but I want to show you how I'm making it out this hood, and I want to show my children how. And if Forex is one of the vehicles, then so be it. All right? Yeah. But anyway, brother, I love you. Let me get to this next hand. All right. Good talking with you, bro. All right, let me get to Jaya or Jaya. Yeah, morning, Uncle P. Good morning. Hey, how are you? All right. All right, thank you. So this is just a continuation question from a trade yesterday with, okay. that we took in this class, um, AUD USD. Yep. Um, so I just wanted to know, it did hit my stop loss. Um, yep. And I think there was another triple arrow on M15 yep. or M30, I don't remember, but I did not take the trade. So yeah. what, what would you normally recommend if there's a- Just wait, wait. Just wait for right now, Yeah, what's going on? Number one, I, my, I was in this trade too and my stop loss got hit and that's okay, no big deal. Like yeah. I said, this actually happened last night after, I, you know, I, I, I know the London things happened, but I, across the board, multiple pairs started acting crazy. So it's one of those days, it's kind of like, man, chalk it up and, and wait and relax, wait till the market relax itself. But this goes back to what I was saying on yesterday. Some people said, why am I not taking as many four hour trades as I normally would? And why am I looking at shorter time frames to get in and out and all this kind of things? Right now, because this market is so strong on news events, unscheduled, and I want everybody to understand, write that down, unscheduled news events, unscheduled. Right. So even if you check your MyFX book or whatever app you're using to look for scheduled news events, a lot of this stuff is just knee jerk reactions off of, okay, President Trump sent a tweet saying like yesterday, I know late yesterday he signed some kind of bill saying that, you know what, we ain't doing through all these obstacles to, you know, get some roads and this and that and that and this none. So he's chopping that up. And then you got this country saying that, well, we gonna do this. Well, mm -hmm. because of the coronavirus. So the coronavirus is ruling the markets. And so therefore it's too much uncertainty. So normally when I know that, hey, this is what the environment is, I'm just taking what I can and, and I'm keeping it moving. And sometimes, you know, you're gonna get some stop loss hits along the way and that's okay. You just move on to the next one. Okay, but do you recommend trading off of um, higher time frames, maybe H1 or H4? I, you know, I don't or... think we need to change our game plan necessarily, whatever's been working. It, you know, this, matter of fact, I was listening to a guy, <laughs> on YouTube and I want to, and I wish I can say what his name is because I do like giving credit where credit is due. But he had said something that was very fascinating and I never forgot it. He said a lot of people, they take some trades and the moment they lose a trade here or there, they end up quitting that strategy and they move on to something else and move on to a whole new system, blah, blah, blah. But he said, you will never understand a 70%, 80% win rate, 90% win rate he said, the only way you'll know is if you be consistent with your trading. He said, then, for an example, he said, if you have a trading style or a setup, whatever you want to call it, the only way that you'll know how effective it is in good and bad scenarios, such as this is a bad scenario, okay? Good or bad scenarios is, he said, you have to, if a pitch is thrown at you or a trade setup is there and this follows your rules, he said, the only way you're going to know it's effective is you have to take the trades. And then at the end of the day, especially with tracking your trades, at the end of the day, you can go back and say, oh, you know what? I still had a 70% win rate, 80% win rate, even during a bad week. Okay. But that's because I still was consistent with my methodology of how I was going to trade. I didn't keep switching it up because if that's the case, it's kind of like coronavirus. If they're trying to test to see if something's effective, if they test one person, they say, oh, it didn't work on this one person. They throw it out and try something else. Wait a minute, you need to test it at least on 100 people to see, okay, you know what? It works on 80% of the people and 20% it doesn't. That's how you get there. So we can't switch up and do all this. We just, hey, today there was a lot of news and I watched it. I literally stayed up. I, to be honest with you guys, I have not went to sleep in 24 hours. I've been up. I have, and I stayed up watching the market for hours last night. I watched the markets and I saw what they did on multiple pairs. It didn't even matter just this one. It was across the board. The pairs started acting crazy more than normal. And that's because there's too much chatter 
from the talking heads. So yeah. you just move on, wait for that day to, it's just one day of training. So we just have to wait till tomorrow and see what it brings. All right, makes sense, okay. thank you. Does that make sense? Yeah, totally. Okay, cool, cool, thank great you. question, thank you. great question. Thank you. All right, Clarence, you're up next. Good morning, Michael P. Good morning, good morning. So I just purchased a new laptop and uh -huh. I went back to super easy and I was reading the uh, the very first page mm -hmm. and I didn't want it to keep me out of my old laptop or keep me out of the system. Is that that's something I just emailed you know, to get that? Send me an email and just let us know and they'll, they'll notate it and it's all good. Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay, that's all. Okay, cool. See, I like these simple questions. It'll only take a minute. I love it. All right, let me get to Mary. Mary, go right ahead. Oh, I'm looking for my mute. Good morning. Hi. Um, I was on GDP US, no, GDP CHF. Okay, G Swiss. Uh, and I don't know if I, I, I did the right thing. I got out because I was losing so much money, but it seemed to be on an upward trend. Mm-hmm. And then I was losing so much, I got up. So did I, what did I do? Oh, I don't know. You got to tell me what you did. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't then see what you did, sis. I would love to say, yeah, you did right or wrong, but you got to explain what you did and what, 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 what time I, were you looking at? Kind of walk me through what you were looking at. Okay, I, I had the triple arrow going up. Okay, because I see triple four. arrows going up now. Well, well, we have, we're waiting on one of the candles to close for this last arrow, because I've seen it popping in, so that means it's waiting for this candle to close. So kind of walk me, what time frame were you looking at? At uh, the H4. Okay, H4, all right, let's start there. Good, all right, H4. All right, and let me wait for these to pop up. There we go. All right, so yeah, we do have that. Mm -hmm. No, I stayed on the H4, and I stayed all night, and when I woke up this morning, you know, I didn't even look at the pips, I just saw that $15 had gone, and I said, oh, no, I'm losing money, and I shut no, up. You can't do that. If you're going to trade on these higher time frames, on any time frame, you can't, it's, you can't, what, did it hit your stop loss? No. Okay, then why was you bothering it? I don't know. There you go. See, we're going to fix what really is the problem. The problem ain't the setup. Triple L's are sitting there saying, okay, it wants to go up. What it happened is you probably got in at the wrong time, and it started pulling back. As you can see here, if we drop down to the 15 minute, let's take a look at that. You probably got in when this was doing its pullback, but as you can see, look, it's going right back up again. But when you panic, you just hop out real quick. But this is the reason why, and that risk calculator, that's why I'm giving it to you guys. If it works for you, praise God, because it'll help you. Because what happens is you should not be panicking and tripping and having a fit, whether it's $15 or whatever, if you already knew in advance that if I take this trade, how much am I willing to risk? It's just like going to a casino. The moment you hit that slot machine and you sit down, it tells you how much you're going to be risking. Are you going to be, if you're going to play the quarter machine, you're going to play the dollar machine, whatever. But you manually put your money physically in there you know that there's a high risk chance that you may not win on a slot machine. Are you with me so far? Yes. But you still play it, right? I'm not saying you personally, but I'm just saying, just you get my point. Yes, I got the point. We're okay with it because we already know, hey, there's a chance I may hit this big ding, 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 but there's a chance that I may, hey, I may be out. So it's the same thing. If you already had predetermined how much you are willing to risk on this trade, you should begin to work on your emotions to say, hey, if it's $20 I'm risking on this trade, can I watch this? And I want everybody, I haven't talked about this in a very long time. Very, very long time. I need everybody to get a pen out. You need to write this stuff down, okay? And let me make sure I can remember all three because I used to teach this all the time and maybe this is a reminder, go back to teaching it again. There are three types of over leveraging. I want every, everybody typing, we have 162 people in this room. I want everybody, I want everybody to type a number five in the box if you can hear me good. Everybody. In the box. Okay, good. 
There are three types of over leverage. Three. There is financial over leveraging, which means you put more on that trade than you could really have afforded to lose. And when you do that, and it starts working against you, it triggers the second over leverage. It's emotional over leveraging. Emotional over leverage. The first one is financial. The second one is emotional. The third one is time over leveraging. When you're trading off the four hour time frame and you're on the triple arrows, the reason we trade this is because, hey, we can sit in this trade and we know it's going to bounce around, it's going to go up, it's going to go down, it's going to wiggle its butt around. But eventually the goal is, is for it to bounce up and go in our direction. That can happen over days and sometimes weeks. Okay. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. if that's the case, why are you emotional over the trade? And why are you spending so much time watching the trade? Chance. Uh -huh are is because we put more on the trade than we could have handled either financially emotionally or with time so the question is which one were you over leveraging were you over leveraging your money your emotions or time or all three sis and be honest all three there you go that's why you got to fix that the first way to fix that is to that's why I'm telling you guys. Somebody also said there's a, another app you can use if you don't like this one. It's called Stinu, Stinu, or Stinu, S-T-I-N-U. It's another risk lot calculator. But what you want to do is lower your risk. Put it on something where you ain't even tripping, okay? Something, you, it don't even matter. If it works, if the trade work out, cool. If it don't work out, it don't matter. I'm good. Because what happens is you're going to be married to your charts. Your nerves are going to be bad and everything else. That's why I'm, I'm worn out on trading. Even though I know how to do it now, I'm worn out on it. Because the years of all that build up tension and loss of sleep and emotions and da-da-da, it wore me out. It literally did. And that's why I teach these classes to you guys. And I'm trying to give you knowledge to try to help you so you don't have to go through that journey that I went through. I'm emotionally exhausted with this whole thing because it took so much out of me. And now that I know how to do it, it don't even matter no more. The fun and the thrill of it is gone. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Because the, hi, hold on, free friend. Hi, good morning, person. Hi, honey. Hi. 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 That's my baby girl. Ooh, I love that girl. Anyway. Um, it's kind of like, let me, and I did a YouTube video about it, and I really hope people really watched it and understood what I was trying to say. I said, when you're trading in, the, in stocks and mainly Forex, because Forex move even faster, if I told you trade stocks, automatically in your mind, you already know you're going to hold that stock for maybe three to six months, maybe to a year. I don't know why people don't make that transition in their head. It's just, hey, they already know, hey, we're going to buy some stock. Oh, okay, cool. They put their money in, and they don't even ask questions about it. Nothing. They just let it sit. Do you agree? Yeah. But then the moment you come into Forex, this mentality that is supposed to happen in the next two minutes, next two minutes, I'm supposed to be popping and making this kind of money in the next two minutes, and then we're sitting there watching and staring, and, and your nerves are bad. Uh, we've never made the transition. Treat it just like you would stocks, when you, especially if you're trading off the four-hour time frame. It becomes just like a stock. You place your bet, and then you walk the heck away, and you only put them in an amount that you really don't care about because that's the reason why we use – 2% or whatever, because that means even if that trade loses, you still got 98% of your account value still left to continue trading. So if you have a bad trading day, like yesterday was horrible trading for anybody who was trading last night. It was just horrible because there was just some, just bad news. I mean, I don't know what came out. I didn't even look to see what came out, but I just watched price action and it was just a bad day. No matter what pair you really picked, it would come, come it might have went against you. Though you're going to have those days because that's just the way the market is sometimes, okay? But then if you're only risking 2%, don't you still got 98% of your account left to keep on trading? Yes, sir. Okay, so then why are you emotional? And why are you spending so much time? That's why you got to fix that. So always remember those three, sis, okay? Thank you. you. Financial over-leveraging, emotional over-leverage, and time over-leveraging, okay? Okay. Okay? Okay. 
All right, cool, cool. Okay, Mr. P, thank you very much. No worries. It was a great question. Great, very good question. I'm glad, I'm actually glad you asked it because it helped me to remind me to teach that point. Okay, because that's critical in this business. Really important. Don't over leverage either one of those or else you're going to be in trouble. Okay. Okay, let me get to Indira. Indira? Indira? Hold on, let me click on that again. Hello? Yeah. Yes. All right. And I'm drinking uh -huh. agua, so I apologize. My wife brought in my ice water so I can drink my water for the day. Go right ahead. Yeah, I have two more questions. Um, the, in the triple arrows, right? Uh -huh. The What is the yellow arrow used for? I can hear you. What was your question? The in triple arrows, right? What is the yellow arrow used for? I don't tell my formulas. I don't tell why they do what they do. I don't get into all that. That's what people be trying, not you, but people be still and stuff, especially with this new indicator. I ain't saying deadly squat. We build the algorithms. That's all they need to know. But each arrow is reading a different bit of information. One has crossing of moving averages. Another one has momentum. Another one is basically looking at okay, what's a general turning point? So when they, all three of those come together, that's when we have our triple arrows. Okay, um, triple arrows, right? It's a, okay, you know, sometimes you'll have like a big green arrow, a small green arrow. Triple arrows is when you see like the, the, the big arrow, the small arrow and the yellow arrow. Yep. Or, right here. So okay. One, two, three. If you see a sale trade, for an example here, one, two, three. Okay, and uh, I don't know if you will have time to like uh, go through. Well, I watched the video where it is you explaining um, mm -hmm. the steer master, right? Okay, but yeah, I'll show you that. A matter of fact, this is actually one of them right here as we speak. Let me show you this. It's actually happening now. That's why I was telling the other sister. So. When you have a Stairmaster, all right, you see this triple arrow? One, two, three. You see that? Yeah. All right. So the Stairmaster is basically when you're going downstairs or when you're going upstairs. So I'm going to yeah. show you this. All right. So watch this. When the triple arrows came in originally, you could have got in. But if you missed it, it usually will come down. And at some point, it's going to do what's called a pullback. When it does that, it's going to bounce off of what we call resistance lines. That's these red ones. You see that? Yeah. Okay. This is a great point to enter off the 15-minute time frame. And I'll show you an example momentarily, but I'm showing you what it looks like. So it's kind of like, and I say this all the time, my mama she used to say, boy, go on, get, up, get your butt up here. Come on upstairs. All right, mama. And I would go walk upstairs. Boy, go on downstairs and take that trash out. So looking at this here, did my mama tell me to go downstairs and take the trash out or to come upstairs? Look at this. Look at the which which direction is this going? It's going down. So did my mama tell me to go downstairs or to take the trash out or she told me to get my behind upstairs? She told me to go downstairs and take the trash out. You go downstairs. Why? Look at how it looks. Now they call these all these lower highs and higher lows and all that. They got them fancy names. I just call it a stairmaster. Why? Because it looks like you're walking. Look, I'm um, here's I'm upstairs. Watch this. Triple arrows come in, and then it creates the first step. Then you're going downstairs. See how it's just walking downstairs. You see that? See? Look, here it is again. Triple arrow. You could have got in here, but if you didn't. Here's the next step, where you could have got in off the 15 minute, next step. And that's why we call it the stair maps, because it's just walking itself right downstairs based off of the lower highs. That's what they call these, lower highs. Every time it tries to go high, it's still lower than this one. And then this one was lower than this one. And then this one was lower than this one. And then this one was lower than that one. So they call them lower highs and higher lows and all this stuff. I just call it Stairmaster. You're just walking down the stairs. So if you were to get into a trade, what you're looking for is as soon as it touched the bottom of this step, you want to drop down to the 15 minute time frame and try to get in on that trade because it's in the same direction. And I'll show you this one because this is actually happening now. Let's look at a buy trade Stairmaster. Here we go. Triple arrows came in. You see that one? 
Yeah. Now, what's the, now looking at this, did my mama, is my mama telling me to come upstairs or downstairs now? Upstairs. You got it. Come on now. It's just that simple. Why? Triple arrows coming in. Here's the first step. Then when it comes up and bounce off a of support, off a of support, this is a lower, I mean, a higher low because this is higher than this. So right here, you could have went to the 15 minute if you would have called it, caught this trade and went and walked it right on upstairs to make you some money. Okay. okay. So now watch okay. this. Hold on. Hold on. Let me show you a live example because it's literally happening now. Look at this right here. See, what direction is this mama calling me, upstairs or downstairs? Upstairs. Upstairs, right? Yeah. Don't this, is this, look at this little dot right here. Does this look like it's going upstairs? Is this an upstairs dot or a downstairs dot? Um, it's green. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, what color is these arrows? Green. Green, so what steps are we looking to get in on? Yeah, come on now. You got it. Come on now. Quit playing, girl. Look, when it's red arrows, we want to get in on red steps. When it's green arrows, we want to get in on what color steps? Green. Yeah, come on. So. Hold on. Yes. Hold on. Not yet. We ain't done yet. Hold on. Let's, let's look at this because this is happening right now. So I'm going to mark this on the charts. Watch this. We'll mark that right there, okay? Now let's drop down to the 15 minute and let's see what we see. And now I'm gonna actually move this out the way because that's a little too bright. What do we see sitting right here? And what direction is it going? Up. Oh. Now is this triple arrows in the same direction as the four hour triple arrows? Yeah. That's what makes it a Stairmaster. It's telling you I'm willing to go back upstairs in the same direction as the overall four hour time frame triple arrows. So you got the short time, the short term and the long term are both saying the same thing. Let's go upstairs. Mama calling us. Okay. All right. So the scam master, right? Mm -hmm. I will have to switch to the four hour, right? Yes. So that's where you like make, make all that pattern with the downtrend. Yeah, you go to the four hour the first, four hour. find it, and then you drop down to the 15 minute time frame for entry on a triple arrow that's in the same direction as that four hour. Okay, and um, I could use the 15 minutes chart to set take profit as well, or I have to do that? Yeah, no, you can. Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, you can. Okay. No, you don't, so, you, it's up to you. So from the four hour, right? Mm -hmm. When I see the, the arrows, right? So I have to wait for triple arrow on the four hour. Mm -hmm. And I have to wait for the green dot according to if it's buy or sell. Sure. I have to wait on the green dot and then go to 15 minutes and enter from 15 minutes. Yes, correct. You got it. That's all it is. Okay. Or like we call it here, the 415. Why? You look on the four hour and then you go down to the 15 minute for a triple arrow setup that's in the same direction as the four hour. It's just that simple, 415. Okay, so 15 minutes and four hour charts must both, have the triple the arrow. Direction. Correct. That's all it is. Okay, so, so both must have triple arrows and go in the same direction. There you go. You got it. It's just okay. that simple. Yep. Okay, good. Thank you. You got it. See, that's why coming to class is easy. It's better to come to class and I can spend time with you making sure you understand what to do versus sending tons of emails and maybe we don't even understand. Yeah. Well, yeah, just keep coming to class. I'll be here to help. Okay. Okay, but just one question. The same chart that um, you have up here, right? Mm -hmm. I see in like after triple arrows, the green dot is coming up, but it has an arrow going down. Uh-uh-uh, we don't go do we pay attention to that? Then yeah. now the training, did I say pay attention to all these other things? No. No, then don't worry about it. All you need to know, as soon as you start seeing a dot that's the same color as this, you drop down to that 15 minute and you start looking for a triple arrow setup that's in the same direction. You place your trade. 
All right, now, here's the only difference. You can put your stop loss below on the 15 minute, but with a Stairmaster, because you're expecting it to run quite a bit, it can run all the way up to here. So my stop loss will go to below the prior step. See, here's the first step. I put it below the prior step, okay? Now, what's the risk? Risk is 92 pips. Reward is 127 pips, and there you go. You always put it below the prior step. Okay, and this scare master, it could be used at any point in time, right? You can use it off the one hour, yeah. It happens on the one hour. The four hour is the best to me because it gives you time to be able to enter the trade and walk, walk away and just relax and do something else. But you, you can actually do it off. It's sometimes you'll find them on the one hour, 30 minute, whatever. You know, you can do it on whatever time frame, but it works best on the four hour, in my opinion. You can even do it off the daily time frame. Any time frame that works for you. Okay, and this um, this is this could be a long-term trade. Say again? Yeah, that's what it is. It's actually a long-term trade. That's my whole point. Any trade that you're actually going to be holding off the four-hour time frame is a long-term trade. So it will go up. It will go down. It will do all this wiggling around to fool you and to scare you. But eventually what it's supposed to do, if it did not hit your stop loss, then don't worry about it. Leave it alone. Okay. Try this later. Okay. Sounds good, sis. Thank you. Okay. All right, cool. All right, let me get to Jason. Jason, go right ahead. Jason? Oh, let me make sure. Jason? Yeah, hearing me? Yeah, it was my fault. I apologize. Go right ahead. Oh, morning, Uncle B. Good morning. Yes, sir. It's a blessing being in your group. Praise God. Good, good. <laughs> All right. I'm from Jamaica. Okay, cool. cool. I'm a newbie. Yes. Uh, my question really is, um, like when you're just starting out, because to be honest, I haven't even taken a trade yet in terms okay. of a real trade. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, first question, though. Um, in terms of bro brokers, okay. um. Which broker would you suggest that um, I could start off with? I don't. I don't make suggestions on brokers. I don't. Exactly. That's the one conversation I will never have with anybody. Uh, you can ask in the group. You can ask Miss Jenny. You have. You can ask other people. I will never, ever okay. have a broker right. conversation. Right. No, but let me tell you why. I want you to know why. Right. Right. Okay. Let me tell you why. Because what happened was. I was actually running another business. I used to trade binary options, and some people know what that is. That's very fast paced. And then I outsourced it to a company who I was working with for about six months, and I was making a ton of money, but they were doing the work for me. I outsourced it, me and my partner. We were making a ton of money daily, daily. So then we brought in a few more partners and a few more family. However, this particular broker ended up doing some shady God hold my tongue. I almost said the word. Okay. <laughs> Did some shady stuff and it put me and my partners in jeopardy of for a half million dollars. Ooh. And because I was the person who had suggested working with this company because we vetted them for six months work. See, I'm not a person who just going to test you for one day or two weeks and say, okay, you good. Especially when it comes to money. I don't trust nobody like that. We vetted these people for six months. And I was actually doing classes like this, teaching people how binary options work. I was showing them uh, bank statements from bank websites, reading clearly so they can see, here's what you can actually, here's your returns and showing financial proof. Here's how much we're making and da, da, da. But the bigger the group got, I guess the company got greedy, which that was a bad move. And so since then, and I helped people to unravel that. And many of them went on to be very great on their own. Um, praise God for that. And a lot of them said, well, Pat, it wasn't your responsibility, man. It was, you didn't do it. No, in my head, if I was the one who said it, then I feel responsible, regardless if it was another company or not. And it was quote unquote, my fault. No, it is my fault in my opinion. So I bear the heart and the brunt and the discomfort of knowing that a half million dollars of investment money was on the table. And, you know, I helped almost everybody get their money back. But that experience 
tarnished me to the point where I will never speak up on. Do you know how many brokers, matter of fact, do you know how many brokers hit me up? The bigger our company gets, you know how many brokers send me emails saying, hey, man, you know, we'll do X, Y, Z, man. We need to do business, man, da, da, da. And they could be great brokers. I don't even <laughs> want to look to see. I don't yeah, want to know. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to know. So I probably, I'm telling you this long story so you know I'm not being rude because we get this right. question a lot. And my staff know you bet not ever, you bet not oh. ever say nothing about a broker. Here's what we oh. suggest. We suggest, and I don't know if they're still on there. Uh, I, the last time I checked, they were still there. I say you can check Forex Peace Army or Google them or something like that to get some reviews on what's the best brokers and da, da, da. But I will never say a word about brokers. That's the one thing uh, you can ask me, but I don't have an answer for it. Anything else I'll okay. try to help you with, okay? So that's like once, once bitten, twice shy. Yeah, anyway, but... um, our next question is, um, like when you're just starting out, uh, is there a, a, a time frame that, that is suggested for newbies or you can start on any time frame? Or how... It's totally up to you. That's why we have the three different time frames. You have, you have the 15 minute, you can do the 30 in one hour, or you can do the four hour. What happens is, is that it's not about whether you're new or not. In mm -hmm. this business, and I'm about to do a video about this because I read an article from a professional stock investor and I found it fascinating about how our temperaments are based on whether you're a pessimistic or optimistic person. So in this business, you're going to find yourself as the obstacle in this business. So you're going to find, figure out, am I a person who has the ability to hold trades you know, for a long time and not look at them and treat them just like a stock where I can, hey, I ain't tripping, man. I can hold a trade for two weeks or two, you know, a week or two weeks and, and, and wait for it to play out. If you have that kind of patience, then you are great for trading in the four hour time frame. If you cannot, then you need to stick with doing a stair math, I mean, a now later or something like that, you know, something where you just on the 15 minute time frame, getting in, getting out, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's, you really gonna have to find your own, you're gonna find your own personality in this business. That's what, it, what I'm trying to say. Okay, well, all right, uh, basically. So if you're new, let me say this, if you're new, here's what I suggest you do. Open up two different demo accounts, okay? Watch what I say. Yeah. Open up two different demo accounts. One of them trade only off the four hour or the daily. The other one trade off the 15 minute. Whichever one is giving you the best results and whichever one is one that you feel peaceful about, where you ain't checking everything. Oh my God, oh, whichever <laughs> one, then that's the strategy. Now you know who you are and you veer towards trading more that way. I have a short-term account and a long-term account. Why? Because I'm split personality now. Sometimes I want something short and sometimes I want something long. So I just do both. It's up to you. There's no right or wrong there. All right, just to say what you're doing, and um, I've gone through most of your um, talks and stuff. It's a great thing, so, so thank continue. you. Continue. Yes, sir. I truly all, right. uh, 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 all the blessing will be with you, sir. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. All right. Let me get to uh, Alex. You're up next. Hey, Uncle P. How you doing, man? All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good. I'm just, I'm uh, currently in a GB, Euro GBP trade, if you can pull up that screen for me. Yeah, EG. Okay. So I think the triple arrows on a one hour came in on, um, I think the 18th and it's tapped. That's a, it's currently tapping it for the third time. Yep. Four, um, actually one, two, it, three. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah right. Four, four. Actually five, one, two, three, four and five. Yep. Yeah. So I'm in a cell on this the moment. So I'm not sure what it's going to do. I've got my stop loss placed above the arrow. I saw this trade. You want my opinion about it? Yeah. Okay. I saw this trade, but I didn't take it. Yeah, SpongeBob, I can see. We have, yeah, you already that's know. That's exactly why. Even with, let me show you another one that I was in, and I just, even, I sent out a signal on it because it was looking real sexy, but hey, and look at, look at here. See, I was right. I didn't even look, I didn't even check this morning. You just asked a question. I just, I was going to use that as an example, but I didn't know it actually happened. So look what happened here. I sent this out as a signal, and it was forming, originally forming really, really nice for a drop. However, 
I saw that it, for the next day, I started seeing, uh-uh, you forming a SpongeBob Squarehead. And I sent to the Signals group, I said, let's just close it out at break even because it re it's, re it's better to be safe than sorry. And now, look, I didn't even know. But talking to you, I'm just clicking on it and look what happened. Look what happens with the SpongeBob Squareheads. It eventually goes sideways. It's a continuation pattern. Let me show you what I mean, brother. So everybody, I don't care if you're in the trade. When you start seeing it going sideways, doing this SpongeBob Squarehead stuff, close the trade. Get out of it. It's better to be out of the trade and waiting for the next one. See this little bing, 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 this sideways movement, okay? This little sideways movement. I call it the SpongeBob Squarehead. When I see a SpongeBob Squarehead, I'm closing the trade, period. Because the majority of the time, it's going to do this. It's just ping, 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 and it's a continuation. So whatever direction it started going in, it's just taking a breather, going sideways, and then it breaks out of there and keep going. So even if, and that's why I say all the time, I don't take every triple arrow I see. Now, sometimes it starts off looking sexy, right? But when it's, you start to see it forming a sponge of my scare head, get out of the trade. I don't care if you have to take a small little few pip loss or you at break even or you only made five pips. I don't care. Get out of it. Get out of it. It's a continuation trade, a continuation pattern. For an example, brother, you see this one right here? Yep. What is that? Spun flat. See that sideways stuff? And what happens? It goes flat, flat, flat for a long time. And then boom, it breaks out. Boom. So this one, I, I, I told them, I had, to, I just told them, I said, hey, we're going to close. I told them that yesterday. Hey, we're just going to close this trade out because I'm seeing that it's creating a SpongeBob square here. And lo and behold, brother, just talking to you, I didn't even look back at it because I wasn't tripping. When I'm done with something, I'm done with it. I ain't tripping. But looking and talking to you, it did exactly what I, I was anticipating. And they did a breakout and it broke out of here. There you go. So what's my answer for yours? I saw it. But what do you think I'm looking at? Yeah, the SpongeBob. So, um, um, so yeah, that's 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 yeah. You definitely wouldn't be getting in so that. I'm, I'm live to trade another day. So even if you have to suck it up and you know and to take a little small hit, that's fine. But the truth of the matter is, this is a SpongeBob square head to me. That's the first thing I saw, and I was like, Nah, man, I don't get down with that. If anything, I'll be putting a pending order right here. So if this sucker breaks out, okay, you gonna catch me as I'm going up, and I'm gonna get my money. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do right now. For real. That's now. I don't teach that stuff because that's too advanced for some people. But if you know how to trade, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Put a pending order on that bad boy. So you break your butt about this cage that you in. Guess what? You gonna catch me along the way. I'm gonna put a buy stop. It's called a buy stop order. A buy stop. So I'm, I'm more up. of a I'm more of a breakout yeah. trader anyway. So I'll probably do that anyway. You understand what I'm saying, up. right? Yeah. Uh huh. That's um, one of the most dependable patterns is a breakout right here. When you see the SpongeBob square hit, it's a breakout pattern. And get out of your trade, just move on to another trade. I don't care what it originally was. Stop, drop, and roll because you're about to get your stop loss hit unnecessarily. I'd rather just take get a hit, let me get out and break even, or down five or ten pips. I'm not tripping. I can make five or ten pips back. But I don't want to keep getting my stop loss hit because I'm seeing this. Yeah. That's that's correct. You with me, bro. Correct. Yep, and it and it looks like it's just about to break out of that same zone anyway. You see why coming to class is cool stuff. Yep, I'm in GJ at the moment as well. I'm in GJ at the moment as well. Okay, cool. I, think it's, it, I don't know if it's doing the same thing. Yeah, but um, it, I don't care what it is. It's just I. It's just notorious for doing this. Notorious, and that's why. I, and can, honestly, can you see it's just moved as well? It's just moved. Yeah, this one. The arrows. The arrows just moved. Yeah, yeah, I know. Because it's telling you up in this area, it's, it's going to be something. But that's why I said, man, no, I don't care. I don't care. As soon as I see it flattening out, I'm out. I don't care what the arrows are doing. I don't care. If, I, I almost said something. God rest my soul. My mom, I was going to say, I don't care if my mama telling me. But my mama, I've got Lord and mama, I love you. Daddy, I love y'all. I miss y'all. So I ain't going to do that. But the point is, I don't care who's telling me what. As soon as I see this thing flattening out, guess what? I'm out of that, man. I, I'm done with that trade. Let me go find something else. Okay. Okay. Can you can you open up GJ as well? 
Yeah, let me quickly, take a look at it. I don't want to. I don't want to take up too much time. I know you got a few okay. more questions. Here. Now, see, GJ is different, bro. This one is sloping. I don't see the SpongeBob on this. Now, mm -hmm. what I do see is right here. I see a stairmaster maybe spotting up on there right here. Right here was that stairmaster, and see. And for those who was asking about the stairmaster, see right here on this four hour. See, it looks real small on this four. It don't look like much of nothing, okay? But originally, when it jumps up. It might have been this one, actually, the original. But it looked like it could be touching up and around this area. If you find it and you come down to the 15 and they don't look right, that's where I see this. See, that ain't the triple arrow, but I see it was bouncing off support, off the board. Mm -hmm. So I see this sale off the 15. Let's check the 30. See? Oh, I don't know. But now right here, it looked kind of cool right here. It looked mm -hmm. cool, you know? Look cool. Now this, see, and this is what was deceiving because sometimes you have a SpongeBob square here and it would work out. But then I started actually just watching and if 90% of the time it breaks out against me, I don't want it. I don't care if it's one or two times it did work out. This is one of those, I've tested this strategy. I've seen it too often go and pop out. So I don't care if it actually went this one time, I'm good. But now this one, it could, it looks like it can bounce off of here because it's this it's teeter tottering right off of what's this the 38.2 off the what time frame is this one hour so it looked like mm -hmm. it's bouncing up in this area bouncing 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 so now it came down it could touch off this 38.2 and then come right back up and test this line and then it could come back down now it could possibly go down because it's a pretty pretty this look real nice so far I'm, I'm, I'm i ain't telling you not to take it but I'm saying, if you see it flattening out too much, just go ahead and get out the trade. Okay. Okay. So that looks okay. good so far. But if it flattens out like the EG did, then just cut and look, cut and run. Okay. All Thank right. You very much. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Let me get to Natalie. All right, Natalie, go right ahead. Hey. Good morning. Um, good morning. <clears throat> again, this is my first class, and I still need to review the videos. Oh, but, um, hi. I um hi <laughs> hello hi welcome 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 first time yes thank you <laughs> slow down um, and stay out of each other it's all good <laughs> okay I um even, despite the uh pandemic I still work full time from home and I'm in a lot of meetings and stuff I said all that to say I'll come to the charts when I get a break and then I see that I missed a triple arrow situation is there an alert and i apologize if it was covered already because i had to drop off early for 15 minutes oh, if you don't ask your question it's all good <laughs> yeah i had a meeting i had to go to but um is there an alert or anything for the triple arrow on this system but the new one that's coming out in about a week or two does awesome sauce okay because i see them and i see them play out and i'm like i missed it i missed it yep, yep. is there a but here's the new here's the here's the point of why I, I was telling the other gentleman about trade setups because realistically, like this one here, this is the one hour time frame, right? So that means this came in right about here. This is still in a good area to enter the trade if you were to enter a trade like this, because every candle represents an hour. So even if you were working and you went to go take a, a 10 minute break and you want to go check and see for some setups, there's plenty of time on the clock to get into these trades when you're dealing with higher time frame trades, 30 minute, one hour, four hour. So it's never a rush. And that's why I liked it as for people who were working full time. So that's why I was saying, hey, if you are working full time, you, it's not, you're not going to miss a lot of good setups. Because even this one here, this one here, this candle, where, which was would have been your entry candle, this candle took a whole hour to close. This one took a whole hour. So you had two hours to come back and go look at charts if you were trading off the one hour. If you're trading off the four hour, every candle represents how many hours? Four. That means if two candles go by, how many hours was that? That was eight hours. Yeah. That's a whole work day and only two candles went by. And you tell them you can't find no setup on the four hour? 
So you, I had actually been sticking to the um, 15 minutes because I have a real small account. That's a different story. Yeah, and I get that. If you, if that's the case, yeah, I mean, you know, like, yeah, you're going to miss some. But the good news is on the 15 minute, there's plenty of them. It's like plenty of them. So you, even if you miss it, it's okay. No big deal. It's so on the 15 minute, when I see the, if I come back and I'm like, oh, there's the entry arrow, how late is too late to get in on the 15 minute? Uh, I mean, let me see. Let me find what, what was we looking at? We was looking at something. Golly, bro, what's we looking at? That lady had one. All right, well, let's just use this one, all right? So let's just say we're doing a Stairmaster off of this one, all right? We're going to drop down to that 15-minute there and take a look right here, all right? So that's that was this one. Oh, that was a nice blast up. See, these little Stairmasters, y'all y'all better quit playing because they look kind of small, but they could be big. Or maybe that was the original triple arrow off the fork. Who knows? Anyway, we'll just keep looking. Let's keep going. So the point is, is that if you were taking a trade off this 15 minute, right? Mm -hmm. All right. If it's anywhere up in this lower area, and let me draw a line for you. This is just me. I don't like chasing trades. Okay. I don't like that because my risk becomes more than what the reward is. And at that point, I'm not interested. So I'd rather wait for the next one. All right. Okay. And I actually miss trades too. Don't worry about it. It's cool. But Right about here, right about there, I'm good. But when you come up and you've already passed one of the Fibonacci lines, and that's one of the key things. If it has passed one of the first levels of the Fibonacci or the second one, that ain't worth it. We'll just wait for the next one. So if you have your Fib lines on and you see it passed already the first one and the second one, or even just the first one, if it's passed the first one for me, I don't need it. I'll wait for something else. I'm good. Okay, Why? That's because my first take profit might be the first fib level. And if you're already there, then what's the point of me jumping in that trade? You get your feelings hurt. Because <laughs> yeah, by the time you do all that, you might be pulling back first. Now I'm in drawdown. Now I'm pissed. Oh, God, God. You know, people be tripping. I don't be tripping, but, you know, I, some people be tripping. So the thing is, I would suggest if it's already at your first Fibonacci level, then just don't wait for another one. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. All right. Cool. Cool. Nice meeting you. Likewise. All right. And we just going right through the hands. All right. Rashan, uh, um, Rashan, Ras, Rasan, Rasan. Rashan. Okay. It's Rashan. Okay. Cool. Cool. I had a right. Hey, how, you doing? how you doing, Uncle P? All right. What's happening? Um, I'm kind of new to the whole uh, forest, just like the last young lady. Good. You're welcome. And you're yeah, really like the new system. It's gonna really help you out as a new trader. Okay. I seen I seen something about the new system uh earlier. Yeah, uh, it looked pretty it's slick really, how you I'm had trying it. Trying to lock these videos down because I'm trying to get everything done for the website and they keep getting locked and leaked and locked and you know, people just doing their stuff. <laughs> it is what it is, but it's cool. I feel you, I feel you. <laughs> um my question is I, I set up a the signals um, uh, thing. I paid for the signals. Uh, um, yeah, for the signals group. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, the signals group. I, I couldn't think of that word. Signals group. Uh, how do I? I went back into the tutorials and stuff, and I couldn't find where to actually get signals from. Like how to set everything up. Yeah. Did you join? Did you join the signals group? Those Telegram groups. Yes. Okay, that's where they'll be. One is for the signals group discussion group, and the other one is just for signals. As a matter of fact, Mr. Elvis sent out a signal this morning, so you should have been. You should be in a total of four different Telegram groups: the two regular here, and then two over there. Okay. Well, then I didn't do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't do that. Uh, all right. So, and all all of that is where you, when you first initially signed up at, where the tutor and all that other no, stuff. No, that, that's when you go to back, because as it says in the green words, and I will, and, and, you know, I try to, I'm going to pick a different color. I'm going to try to make it bold as possible. Like it says, once you sign up, go back to step number five and click on the login button. And once you log in, all the information will be right there. And then you just go through, through the tutorial steps. The last step is actually joining those signals groups. And we do not email those links out. You have to join through that, and that group is being monitored. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, and I had another question, but you already answered it. Uh, okay. So thank yeah. you. Oh, no worries, man. Welcome to the group. Yeah, man. Thank you. 
All right, right on, right on. Welcome to the family. All right, Miss Felicia, you're up next. Thank you, Uncle Phil. Hey. You yep, good morning. Right. Good morning. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, I'm looking still at the GBPCHF we were looking at, and we were talking about the STEM master. Yeah, hold on. Okay. I'm going to get right Drop to it. Down. I'm get my water. I'm listening. I've just got to drink my water. Yeah. Take your time. All right. Yep. Okay. So if you look, the arrows are pointing up now, mm -hmm. like it's going up. Mm -hmm. So like the other lady said, right now it's, going, it's coming back to the first Fibonacci. Yep. So first Fib, sorry, <laughs> the yep. first Fib on the four hour. Yep. So if you go down, since it's a STEM master and you look at the 15 minutes. No, yep. This is the 15 okay. minute, which by the way, if this stop loss is too big for you, that's cool. You can move it up a little bit. I mean, it's up to you. Uh, yeah. You know, if it's too big, you can, but just don't have it too close. Don't have it too close. But it, this, right. is, this is actually just an example of, and let me move this line out the way. Let me get that out the way. So we kind of clean it up a bit. And let me kind of make it a little bit larger so you guys can see what we're talking about here. All right. So as you can see here, here's the triple arrows. They're already saying they should go which way? Go up. All right. And then it went up, did a pullback, and now it seems mm -hmm. to be bouncing right off of this dot right here, which is the yeah, next one. Uh -huh. We drop down to the 15 minute, and uh -huh. voila, we see triple arrows right here. And so right. we get into the trade, and you place your stop loss, and you just wait it on out. And uh, like the other lady, she was asking, you can do a one-to-one -one or you can sort of do a one-to-two or whatever, you know, like that if you want to. Or if you're basing it off of the four-hour time frame, you can clearly see off the four-hour time frame that if it is a Stairmaster, it could teeter-totter, teeter-totter, and come all okay. the way up to at least here. Okay. Yeah. So my question was, so it would be um, a good idea or it would be something you could getting and then watch it play out yeah um, because there's only two things that's going to be able to happen one it's going to work right. in your favor or two it's going to hit your stop loss that's all stop that, loss. yeah that's it that's in this game there's only two mm -hmm. outcomes there is no yeah. third once you place your trade it's either going to go into profit or mm -hmm. it's going to hit your stop loss that's mm -hmm. it okay yeah and my second question was last night i was at work when miss jenny was um, doing the tutorials for the beginners. So how would I get that um, video to watch? Mm, which one are you talking about? Last night, the 7 p.m. Central one that Miss Jenny teaches. Oh, you can go into the channels um, because anytime she records hers as well, so go into the notification <laughs> channel and usually it's posted in there. Yeah, because I normally go through the Telegram. Yeah, correct. And I, and I haven't seen it. Yeah, so. it should be in there. It should be in there. It should be there. Mm hmm. Yeah, it should be in there. Hold on, let me see. Because okay. I seen okay. her post something okay. last night. Okay. Maybe I'm not going the right way. Um, maybe not. Maybe she didn't put it in there. Maybe she just put it in the regular group last night. I don't know. I've seen her post something. Give me a second. Uh, no, that was the scalping thing. No, you might want to hit her up. You can hit her up and ask her. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. On her. Okay. Because yeah, I don't see it. Yeah. So maybe it, maybe she didn't. Okay. All right. Cool. And the second thing is, um, I went on the step, um, the step four to join the other group. Mm -hmm. And I went through PayPal and I got the confirmation, but then I'm not getting anything from the group. Yeah, but did you go? Did you go back and click on the login button? Because after you pay for uh -huh. it, you have to uh -huh. go back in and click on the login button, and that's how you get in. Okay, I'll I'll redo it again. Yeah, because what happens is we don't have anything. What happens is PayPal actually does uh -huh. everything for us. It's automated. So once you make right. your payment. PayPal automatically recognizes your account. And this is why we also have an issue. Some people are receiving emails from us because PayPal is not recognizing you, you got completely different names and completely different emails in our system okay. than what's in PayPal. And when PayPal is trying to unlock your account automatically, it can't find it. 
But what happens is, is basically once you purchase the, purchase the just like you did this, when you purchase the signal service, it'll automatically find your account, unlock that part of the website for you, and you just go right back to step number five, and you click on the login button, and you'll have instant access to all the information, the tutorials, the additional indicator, the daily dot, and the Telegram channels. All you have to do is go through each tutorial step, okay? Step, step number five, okay. Yeah. And then since you, um, since this platform, like the triple arrows we're using now is gonna go down, yep. um, I'm still going through the tutorials mm -hmm. since I'm new. Um, how are we gonna get the tutorials to That's an actually learn? a great question because uh -huh. uh, you know what? I still have the folder, so anybody who we can check our records and see that you purchased this one, and and you know we can always you know email you the tutorials okay. or something like that. We'll figure it out. I didn't even think of that. That's a great. I'm glad you said that. I didn't think of that. Um, but uh, we can make it available. We'll find a way to make it available inside the okay. Telegram channel or something like that for those who still need it. But no, once this, that's what I'm telling people. Look. Look, this the new system is going to be out in a week or two. It's already ready to go. I'm just waiting for the the uh, other logistical pieces to be put in place, the finalization of the website, and a couple of other things to be put in place. Because all all the new indicators moving forward will all have brand new type of locking systems and da da da. No more bull crap that I'm dealing with. So um, those are the logistics that we're waiting on. Um, so once okay. that comes out, and we, I mean, this is going to be like a light switch. One day you're going to see it. And it's going to be the old website is gone. The new one's going to be there. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you. Sir. So if anybody's yeah. interested that you know, tell them to come on now because I'm not playing. All right. Yeah. Uh -uh. No, I ain't doing that one. All right. Oh, well, can I still get? No. Well, I heard you. No. <laughs> N-O, bro. No. <laughs> you should have came when I told you. All right. All right. Let me get to Peter. Peter, go right ahead. Good morning, Uncle P. Good morning. So you hit the nail on the head with the SpongeBob SquarePants thing, like um, last week and and starting of this week. Like um, every time when I wake up and try to find trades, I was doing the four fifteen strategy, where you you would, um see like a big arrow and the second arrow on the four hour and then you hop down to the 15 to find that crispy clean with no caffeine yep. um, entry and but every time when I do that it it always like I would enter my trade and then go back to bed and then when I wake up I would always see a Spongebob square head yep. like last 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 week and this week and I wanted for you to elaborate some more I'll keep it real simple. Thinking. This market conditions is wacky. Okay. It really is wacky. It's, 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 it's consolidations, a lot of consolidations. When consolidations come into play, it's because a lot of times the market don't know what it wants to do because it's just in a sit and wait pattern. And then it just sit and waits and then it breaks out a little bit more. Then it tends to reset and then it drops down. And I mean, it's, to be honest with you, this is a little, this is really, really a wacky market right now. The coronavirus is is not messing up just people's unemployment and their jobs. It's messing up the markets too because the markets are quite uncertain on what needs to happen next. And any little thing, let me give you an example. Now, I, I, I told you I have some relatives or some in-laws rather, and they're doctors and this and that, and they have employees with 401ks and everything else. And I remember I, we was out there visiting them, staying at the doctor's house, uh, when this happened and let me show you what i mean so when this happened they weren't tripping but i don't know why but the wife took a look at the 401ks and the doctor had already looked but he didn't want to tell his wife i agree <laughs> you don't want her worried but she saw her 401k and then his 401k and their employees 401k and all that happened, coronavirus attack. Bow, 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 bow. Oh my God, I can't believe. Oh, this was our retirement account. Oh my God. Oh, and they was tripping. 
I would have been too, with how much money they would <laughs> I would have been, ah! I would have been tripping too. But I told them, don't worry about it. I said, as soon as you hear that the country gonna open back up, they're gonna open stores, or, and I specifically said, or if you hear them say that there's potential vaccine, it only have to even be there. I said, when you hear that there's a potential vaccine, you'll get your money back. I told them that when I was out there, that was what, a couple of months ago, okay? About a month or two ago, about a month or two ago, okay? And lo and behold, what do you see this market did? Sorry, right, Maka. All the way back up. So if you have a 401k IRA, you should be praising God with both hands. Why? Because your whole thing got completely wiped out. Just like I said was going to happen, three months in advance before this happened, I had did a YouTube video. It's still sitting up there. Well, I said, no, man, uh-uh, this market looked like it's going to crash. And I told them, and then they did the SpongeBob Squarehead and shot up a little bit more. So I didn't do nothing else. I'm like, maybe I'm wrong. And then lo and behold, but I said, no, no, man, this market going to crash. I ain't know nothing about coronavirus. No, no talk about coronavirus or nothing. That YouTube video is still sitting there. And lo and behold, it was I was late. But I was right, and I wasn't right. The charts were right. So what happens on these? And you see the SpongeBob SquarePants, brother. You see that there? Yes, sir. That's why I, I get out of it or play the breakout because it's gonna keep going in the same direction it started on these on the SpongeBob SquarePants. And then eventually it's gonna reset, and then it's gonna slap you in your face and drop all the way back down. See, here's where the SpongeBob is. Look how low that thing went, all the way past that. So I was right. I was just too early. But I told them, don't worry about it. It's going to come back. Why am I saying all that? The Dow Jones jumped up over 900 points. I think it was yesterday or the day before yesterday. 900. 900. Why? Because they said, oh, we think we have a promising vaccine. And therefore, the market jumped up another 900 points. Then you have Fed Chairman Powell coming out. And he said, oh, and I told y'all, Fed Chairman Powell's going to be talking. Fed Chairman Powell came out, and he said, oh, don't you dare bet against the United States. Oh, why'd he say that? Boom, the market jumped up some more. Everything jumping up. Gold instantly shot down, and I missed my entry on that one because I knew it was going to drop, and I was waiting for the perfect entry. I, and like the sister, I told her, I missed my entry, and that was okay, no problem. I moved on to the next trade, but I knew that was going to drop because when they start feeling good and warm and fuzzy, they dump gold. When they panicking, buying up gold and dumping stocks. That's what they do. So the higher the stocks, the drop the gold. When they dumping stocks, they buying up gold. I knew that was going to happen. Why? Because it's all about what CNN and MSNBC and, and President Trump and whatever these people saying, them, Dr. Fauci and Dr. Dada, what, what they're controlling this market, not the market itself, not market structure. It's all these other people talking. And that happens how often? Every day. Every day. Oh. So this is not a normal market. That's what I'm telling people. If you're getting great wins, if you're getting some, somewhat cool, if you getting slapped upside the head a little bit, don't take it personal. This is not the time. Don't take it personal. Don't take it personal because this is uncertain times. Just as uncertain as you are about your job and your income and this and that and how the, the stores and everything finna reopen, just as uncertain as you are in your personal life, the markets are just doing exactly the same thing. That's why you're getting a lot of consolidation. In other words, it's just waiting to find out what do I do? What do I do? And then when it doesn't know what to do, then eventually it just teeter-totter, 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 then it just breaks out and goes up where it was already heading, and then when it had enough, then it drops on you. It drops. Okay, so basically, I'm not wrong then. It's just... No, man. It's just, that's what I'm telling people, man. Don't take okay. it personal right now, man. You can't. You cannot take it personal because it ain't personal. It ain't... You know what? It's kind of like me telling you, well, bro... You know what, man? I will never drive in a car with you again. Man, you can't drive me to the corner store. You know why? Because you can't keep this car steady on the road. Meanwhile, what I didn't consider is that you're driving in 130 mile an hour winds. 
but yet I'm still fussing at you, expecting you to drive on the road exactly parallel. Is that possible? No. Of course not. It's not, but I'm making it personal because I'm telling you, you should have been driving straight. But realistically, should you have been driving straight or are you doing the best you can? I'm doing the best I can. Why? Because there's an extra factor in there that it's not normal. You're driving 130 mile an hour winds. That's not normal. So it's the same thing that's happening in this market. You got 130 mile an hour news events coming in at you every single every single day, 24 hours a day. Everybody looking for some stability. So therefore, the markets are reacting accordingly. So you can't take it personal. Yeah, because last um, last three weeks and last two weeks, I was killing the market. So and then now, high. like like this. Yeah, and then now the SpongeBob SquarePad just keep yeah. catching me, now just understanding like why is it keep happening? The truth is, I keep a record of all my trades, and the truth is, I've I've had a perfect record up until last night. I had a perfect record. I didn't have no losses up until last night. Last night they hit me, and that's okay. What 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 am I gonna do about it? Get mad, and toss everything to the wind, or or just say. Let me see what happened. Did I do something wrong? No, I, I did everything I normally did. And then I looked and I, I, I literally stayed up looking at pairs. Because I always want to be accurate with you guys. And guess what? It didn't matter what pair you traded, darn near almost all of them was acting the fool. Isn't that okay? That's, yeah, because you know. cause I saw some nice setups um, this yep. morning. Yep. And I got in and all of them act up. Everyone. There you go. See, and the same thing happened to me. And that's okay. It's going to happen. I can't take it personal. It is what it is. Now, if you're a person who's sending out signals and then a day like this happened, people get pissed with you like, oh, they signals are terrible. Now, you could have been sending all kind of good ones where they already clocked and made money, but you better not miss or mess up one or two signals in a 24-hour period. They're going to be, oh, you don't know what you're doing, nigga, like Jay. <laughs> that happens. I'm, I'm being honest. They, they will do that. Yeah, that's true. It's a very typical business. Not understanding it had nothing. And that's why I'm using that example about the driver, because I told you to it's the driver, but when you're a signal provider, then they actually blame you as the driver saying, why ain't you driving this car straight like you normally do? Well, I'm sorry, but the winds of 130 miles an hour, it came. What am I supposed to do? I did what I normally do when you was happy and clocking your pips and hey, pray, hey, hey, hey. But the moment I'm driving a little crazy, you didn't even consider that there was 130 mile an hour winds of news that was unscheduled, it just keep happening. These these prime ministers, the president, they just started talking. And then the market started acting crazy. And then, okay, it just happens. It comes with the territory. No, they don't see it like that, man. You ain't no good girl, you nigga, watch it. Yeah, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. But I just gave you five winners. Okay, that's the way it is. <laughs> yeah. So, be what it goes. I'm being funny, but the truth of the matter is, let me get to these next hands, but the truth of the matter is, these markets are very shaky. Therefore, managing your risk is even more important because, like I said, if you're risking 2%, 3%, 5% of your account, that means even if you lost, even using 5% of your account, you still have... 95% of that account left to trade for another day. So that's okay. It's going to happen in this business. The type of business we're in is a risky business. So if this is not something you can handle, then you need to find a different career because it's going to happen. And it's nothing personal. It ain't like you did something wrong. It ain't like we need to revamp this or do that. It's just certain days like this, especially during this whole Corona thing, the markets are uncertain. I'm uncertain. You're uncertain about what's going to happen next. And the markets is just playing out accordingly. Okay? Yes, sir. All right. Let me get to the next one. Nice talking with you, Peter. All right, Gerald, you're up next. And let me see, Liz, you'll be the last person. All right, Gerald. Let me click that again. Gerald? Yeah, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Good morning, good morning. Uh, good so morning. to my understanding, um, you have a 
obviously, okay, you have a new system coming out, but you also have a new website too to link with the system? Yep. Yep. Okay, so I assume that you will also have, uh, uh, by that point in time, some trading training videos? All that's already there. See, if what oh. people are trying to hack, and that's why I have to put it back on private, is they're hack, they're trying to already look and see the new training videos and the new introduction videos, sample trades that I took, because I'll give y'all, I'm gonna give y'all some several videos of trades that I do take with the system, trades I don't take with the system. I have provided you with a training manual, uh, a, you know, for, and it's a simple read. Shouldn't take you but a few minutes to read through the manual. And I also supplied you with a trading log that I actually use using this system to clock and track my trade. So you have that as well. So everything about the whole new website is gonna be nice and clean and easy, efficient, step-by-step uh, -step videos, how to install it and dot it up. All that's gonna be there, yep. Oh man, that's nice, that's a blessing. What made you, how, how long have you been working on a new system for and what made you wanna upgrade it? Because my, the company is says, Super easy forex, simple enough for who? Your kids yes. to be able to figure it out. I feel like when I'm teaching classes, and I'm really glad that I had I had got away originally from just saying, hey, I'm gonna send you guys a couple of trades. And I said, you know what the heck with that, man? I'm gonna start doing classes. That was one of the best decisions I ever made for the company. Because it really got the ability for me to talk to you guys and to really know, are they really getting it? or are they not? And if they're not getting it, then what can I do to make it even easier? My goal is always to make it as easy as possible. Now, I can't make anything 100% winners all the time, but I can make it easier for you to win to the best of my ability. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. So I have children and I have grandkids and I wanna make something that even my grandkids could match up colors at eight and 10, and they can match up some colors and they can see it even simpler than this. So that when they see this, they see this, you see this, then you know what to do. That's it. I wanna make it as simple as possible. And then when I can leave that legacy for my children, and I think that is good enough to win majority of the time, because there's no system on earth that you're gonna win 100%. But if I can create something that can make a, a stream of income for my kids, so that the next coronavirus wave or whatever, if they're not at work, they know, hey, my dad already, already put something together for me to make some money from the house. And I understand it at first glance. Notice what I said, at what first, first glance? first glance, if you can figure out how to use my system at first glance, and you ain't even got to ask questions, it's really, look, I'll take five minutes and there you go. I'll give you an example. My brother-in-law, that's another reason why I didn't go to sleep, because my brother-in-law and his wife were here to come visit my wife. Okay. Mark Williams? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We, I have several. Um, so my brother-in-law, they drive him and his wife they drop truck and so they were in town to drop off a load and so they say hey you know might as well stay over you know come on over and so his wife do not trade and him he's trying to learn how to trade but he don't trade you know so i showed him and i sat him down and i said okay you see this you see this and you see this yep i said check one two time frames higher check okay all right did it look all right yep all right take the trade and I showed them trades that I took. Took some off the five minute, took some off the 15 minute, and da da da. And within a few minutes, he was able to know, okay, here's what I need to do. I know how to use it. See, within minutes. That's when I feel good about what I'm doing. This one is, to me, a lot of people love it. I love it. I think it's simple enough. It makes sense to me. But if I have to keep over explaining, then I need to find a way to make it even more simple for people. Because at the end of the day, I need you guys. Let me say this, and I'll get to the next hand. Everybody hear me good. I need you to be successful at something. And if I can make you successful at this, praise God. For situations just like that. If you lost your job, you know how many people sent me emails saying, hey, man, thank you so much for this Forex system, because if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have any way to make money to feed my family. That is what I'm talking about.
because I have to think long term of what happens if you lose your job. What happens if you da da da? What happens if you become disabled? Do the my contribution to you is is there a way for me to help you find a way to make money even if the worst case scenario happens and all you got is a laptop and the internet connection? Can I help you? Yes, I've been questioned about my my the next question I've been asked a lot why you put in so much work you did all of this you did all that to put the system together you did all that da, da, da. you spent a lot of money i spent a lot of money out of my own pocket so then uncle p why 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 are you just giving it to him for free why you got a lot of people in that group man you can yeah. i don't care about the money there's other ways i can make money okay Matter of fact, we're going to have a dashboard that you can purchase that you can purchase. But the indicator for everybody who's already in here, I'm not trying to price gouge you guys. I actually really do love you and I really do care about what happens to you. So therefore, no, I could charge for it. I choose not to do so because I, I'm already blessed. I don't need that money like that. OK, I need you guys to be successful so that watch this. If God taps you on the shoulder and he says to you, there's somebody over here who needs $50 now because their light's about to get cut off and you just made, you just made $500 out the market using our system. I bet not hear that you turned your back on them people and then you give that $50 that God said, hey, somebody needs it. I want us to be the most generous group on the planet because we've been blessed with some system that can help us make money. That's why I need you guys to be successful. It's not for me. People have said, oh man, I just need to shake your hand. No, you do not. I am not important. I ain't even worth you paying a visit to come visit me. I'm not that important. But what I'm trying to do for you is important. And why? Because I need you to be successful so that you're not worried about how you gonna feed your family. And when you're not worried about how you gonna feed your family, you're, I hope to God that you have a generous heart because now you're turning around and saying, okay, who else can I come and help, help out along the way? And if we can do that, I don't need to be a Republican. I don't need them freaking Democrats or Republicans. I don't like either one of them because I think they all just waste some time and money on stupid stuff, arguing over stupid stuff. Meanwhile, people are hungry and da, da, da. And I need us to be successful. So when God says, hey, I need you to send $100 down to this place because they're running short on food to give in donations, you'll be the first one to say, God, I'll do it. Thank you for blessing me to make that 5,000. I just did a video on YouTube and somebody said, man, Uncle Pete, thank you so much for teaching because I, you helped me to flip a $1,000 account into a $5,000 account. What I wanted to ask is how much of that did you donate back to help somebody though? But see, it's none of my business. That's for, between them and God. I thank you that I helped you, but I need you to go back and be generous. The same blessing that you got, go back and go help somebody else who's struggling now. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Oh, I hate loud and clear. Let me tell you one more thing. What was a blessing? We got something in the mail yesterday. My brother, my brother, my brother told me that they, and I'm not trying to brag. I'm giving you guys examples of what I'm expecting from you guys, because I'm giving you something for free that literally cost me a lot of money, but I'm telling you why I'm doing it and what I'm expecting in return. And I'm being for real. Okay. My brother tells me that during this coronavirus, there was a friend of his who actually just opened up a baking shop, baking cookies and goods. And because of the coronavirus, that's all this woman had. And they shut her down. She had nothing else. And so she decided to start baking from home because people liked her cookies. The problem is because they shut her down, she didn't even have enough money to go get vanilla extract. Do you hear what I'm saying? Vanilla wow. extract. She didn't even have money to get that. My brother called me up. My brother called me up. And he said, hey, well, we, we got a family uh, text message group. And my brother told me, man, because I was arguing with some of my family members. They're comfortable, man. You know, nah, man, they shouldn't be opening up. These people, man, they just trying to be comfortable. And I'm like, nigga, Rochester, y'all so, un oh, my God, you're making me mad. Because you <laughs> act like, you act like, because you're, you stocked up very well and you got money and you sitting comfortable, don't you act a fool. Don't act a fool and forget that some of these people are trying to open up because they really don't have anything left. 
That's all they have. So if they don't open this business, you tell them to sit for three more months. They did not get a stimulus check. They got kids at home. They have nothing. And you saying, oh, yeah, they should, man, if you don't put a scarf over your face and go get, man, shut, ooh, that made me mad. So that's how it turned out. That's where this started. And so my brother mentioned about this girl. Yeah, he said, yeah, man, because I got a friend. The all she had was her cookie shop, and that's all she had for a living. And she don't have nothing, didn't get no stimulus check, and da, da, da. And she can't, and she's trying to bake cookies, and she can't even get her supplies. I didn't say it in the group, because I don't like to show off. That's why I say I'm going to say this, and I ain't saying no more, because I want God to see what I do behind the scenes. Whatever people think about me, that's cool. But God knows how much me and my wife donates on a daily, weekly basis of what comes in through this business. God knows, and that's good enough. I don't need everybody to know. I don't need everybody hand clap. I expect you guys to do the same, though, okay? But watch this. So I hit my brother up, and I tell him, okay, man, look, what do she need? He said, well, man, she just needs some vanilla extract. I said, man, that's some simple stuff. He said, no, she needs the original, not the vanilla uh, imitation extract. She needs the real stuff. So I said, okay. He said, but all the stores are out of it. I said, all right, well, hold on, man. I went on Amazon. And I started looking. I said, dang, that stuff expensive. I see why she having a hard time. But I said, how much, how much is it? Well, some of them was like $30 and $40 for a little small bottle. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. that, 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 that. See, but watch this. I use, and I tell people all the time, and I'm getting to the rest of y'all's hands. Stay right there. But I say, I thank God that he allows me to donate what I used to have to beg for. Wow, that's deep. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And I'll, I'm going to stop right there because I feel the tears coming up. There were days I had to beg for what I donate now. I'll never forget those days. That's why when I have family members who are acting like they high on the horse, man, you better not come at me because I remember standing in the line begging, waiting my turn for just to get some cheese and butter from the government so I can go home and feed my family. They talk about, oh, we're going to cut your lights off. And all I needed was $80 to keep the lights on for my family. And I didn't, I, I, I didn't know what I was going to do. I still remember those days. I don't forget. I don't forget. So when God puts me in the opportunity to be a blessing to others, man, for whatever. So what I did was I hit up on Amazon and I ain't tripping. So I sent her all kinds of that. And then on Amazon, they limit, oh, you can only buy two bottles. You, they limited that. I'm like, man, that ain't coronavirus. Do, do you drink, you know, vanilla extract? <laughs> coronavirus? Why is y'all restricting vanilla extract? They said, no, you can only get two bottles. So wow. cool. So what I did was I found several different brands. And what happens is you can buy two of each one of these brands. And I just bought it's whatever. And then I say, hey, what's her address? And I had them shipped to her. And guess what? I don't even know this lady. That's my brother's friend. I never met this lady. I don't, and I, I don't care. I'm, when I'm done with something, I'm done. I don't care. Do you know, just yesterday she mailed us some cookies with a nice, beautiful thank you card. Oh, wow. See, we helped save her business because God blessed us to make a few dollars out of this market. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Something as simple as vanilla extract made a difference in this woman's business for her to keep on being able to have a way to keep going. Now, what if I was a stingy person and all she needed was vanilla extract? Man, y'all in this group, I wish to hell to God. If I hear a story where you making money, but then when, God asked you to bless somebody and you didn't, I promise you, you out of here. No, I can't kick you out because it ain't breaking no rules. But man, look, me and you, we're not going to be cool. I'm telling you, I promise you. If I bet not hear that you're blessed and you clocking pips, but then you can't turn around and you see a homeless man on the street, well, I, you know, they may be on drugs. You don't know that. That ain't none of your damn business. If the man is standing out there and he's starving and you got clock, you clocking five hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, a thousand. I got people who making two and three thousand dollars a day up in this joint. I mean, you bet not dare tell me that you can't stop and give this man ten and twenty dollars. You don't know. Do you know, man, bro? I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna move on. I don't know how we got on this, bro. Don't ask me these kind of questions because it's near and dear to my heart. It breaks my heart how stingy people are, even though they're getting blessed. Oh God, that angers me beyond words. Man, I was in. Austin, Texas one time, and I'll never forget, and this happened to me more than once, and it will happen to you guys more than once if you ain't stingy. I remember this man, I pulled up just like normal to a light, they had a sign. I'm always trying to keep a few extra dollars in my car just for situations like that now, 
on purpose. I keep extra money in my car. So if I pull up to a stop sign and somebody needs some money, I got something handy. I can just slip it on out to them just to be a blessing. Cause I don't know what's going on for them. If they're on drugs, okay. I, that's between them and God. But a lot of these people, they're not. Your assumptions make it worse for them. So I'll never forget, man, that dude, I handed him just a little something. That brother packed his stuff up and ran across the street. Why? Because he was starving. He was actually really hungry. Now, what if I was like a lot of people? Well, you know, these people, these homeless, dirty people, they, are, they just need to go get a job. You think a lot of them don't want to work? Have you actually went to a homeless shelter? I have. Me and my brother used to run this nonprofit organization. Well, he, it was his, but we used to support it. And we would go to homeless shelters, sit down, talk with them. And we didn't just donate food. We would actually share a meal with them. Tell me your story. How did you get here? And pray with them. And this is, so we know what they're going through. Not no sit up there, oh, these people. Nigga, please, Lord, forgive me. Oh, God, I get mad. You could be the next homeless person. Don't you be up high on that horse thinking you all that. You ain't. You ain't. Humble yourself. Because we, any one of us, and this coronavirus is proving it. You was having your prestigious job and all this and that. Now look at you. And now you just like the homeless man. Now you trying to figure out where you're going to get your next dollar, just like the homeless man. See, God can humble people. And that's why you, when you got your turn and you blessed, you better stay humble because you something like this can happen. And, you, and now you trying to scramble, figuring out where you're getting the money. Now you might be the next person with a sign talking about, I need something. But you was always the person who didn't want to even give a dollar to the next man. See, things go around, go around. Let me stop talking, bro. Don't ask me this stuff. I don't know why we're here, but somebody need to hear that. Don't do that because your turn could come. And what comes around goes around, all right? Anyway, Gerald, did you have a trading question? I'm sorry. All right, I guess he go. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> oh, Lord, I'm telling you, that, that puts me in tears because I know how much suffering goes on. Oh God, my wife, she, she finds people in us. I don't even want to talk about it. God, my tears are starting rolling down my eyes. And the insensitivity of people burns me up. I should have it, but I don't know if it's slow. Bogdan? Hi, Bogdan? Really smell Bogdan? Yeah, I can barely hear you, sir. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you good now. Hi, Dean and Kobe. Uh, I'm just back to work, and I, I didn't expect that you're gonna get this to me. Oh, um, so blessing, so blessing your words about helping people. Oh, Jesus. you are all real. But anyway, the question what I had because um, I remember yesterday in class you had mentioned to us that you had a kind of a new secret or a new thing that you were working on, and you plan to step us today. I don't know if. You already mentioned it. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I'm, it's, I don't want to go back through it, but if you, I'm going to post this recording in the group, and within the first five minutes, just play the first five or ten minutes of it, and you'll see exactly what it is. And I posted that indicator in the group and in the notification channel for you guys. All right. No, no. About the indicator, I heard I just had bad connection. I couldn't actually pick it up, so it was a bit late whenever all the conversation starts over. But uh, yeah, that's okay. I'll play the I'll play the record and uh, yeah, just play it back because it takes it take too long to go all the way back through that again. But just play the recording yeah. back and also the indicator that I was talking about is already in the group. So look in the notification channel and in the regular group and it'll be right there for you. Okay. Yeah. No, that's done. Thank you very much, and Kofi. Uh, and it was only that. And uh, here, my mission. I think I align with your mission. As soon as I'm gonna get it right and nothing going properly, I don't mind. 80% of the profits to be donated to the proper people as you do. That is uh, it's a goal what I have on my, on my mind as well. Yeah, and so, like uh, I said, just pray about it. Let God lead you, whatever. I, I don't, it's not my job to tell people, well, you know, you need to be given X or that. It's not my place. I'm, people be asking, well, how much money do this person make? And I don't know. I don't want to know their personal business. That's between them and God. But I just know they're making good money. But... I'm going to ask you to be generous once you, once God asks you to be generous, I'm going to ask you, hey, are you being generous? But how much? I, yeah. That's not my business. That's between you and God. I don't tell nobody what we do. If y'all really knew what we did, man, these critics, yeah. if they really knew, that's why I said, listen, I'm going to say this and let you go, brother. But let me say this. My critics, one day I would love to, because PayPal tracks all of that. 
for us. So we, we have it documented. I would love to just have one day with all our worldwide critics and just ask one question. Y'all think I'm, I'm a scammer. Let's pull out donation records. Let's pull out the donation records. I have trackable donation records, okay? And let's pull out the records of how much you gave and how much we gave. And let's see who's the scammer. I want to do that one day, but God says, no, don't worry about it. <laughs> Let me get to Felicia and then let me get to uh, Liz and then I'm done for today. I got to go. All right. Felicia. <laughs> Thank you, Uncle Phil. Well, from what you're saying, sometimes generosity comes from the heart. You don't have to have much to give. That's if my point. God touches, yeah. Yes. If God touches your heart, you can give. But anyway, my question was, if you don't mind, could you please set up multiple traits on one of the charts so that I know how to do that? I'm not sure. What do you mean? Multiple set up multiple traits on one chart. Okay, let's say um, I'm still on my GBP CHF. Okay. And it already took my stop loss out anyway. But let's say it's coming down. It's a downtrend, which is a sell. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I see the two triple arrows, and I want to sell, mm -hmm. like two two different. Um, how, how do we say, it? like? Two different targets. Oh, so if you have in like multiple trades in at the same time, uh -huh. yeah, right. you just on, put a multiple trades in. You just you. And by the way, this is why the stairmaster is important. When you're using the stairmaster, uh -huh. you want to put it below the step. You can't have them too tight. Like for real, if here's where uh -huh. my stop loss would actually need to be below okay. the steps, not that close, because you can clearly see it's dancing off of here. So if mm -hmm. you have a stop loss way up here, you're asking for it to get hit. So you got to be generous with your stop losses. That's why the stair master okay. is important. Put it below one of the prior steps. So I have one resist, one support here. I see a second one here. So I'm going to put it below the second one to give it enough room. So when this thing is just teeter tottering and bouncing around like it did up here, boop, 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 boop. Okay, I'm giving you okay. enough room to do the same thing here. Boop, 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 boop. And then hopefully you go up here. However, if I enter to, watch this, I'll enter a second position. Uh -huh. All right, I got a second position in. Okay. All right, so both of them will have the same stop loss. Stop loss, okay. But one will have a take profit right here, as you can see. The second one, right. I will possibly put it right there. The second, okay. Yeah. So one but here. You don't have to change the lot size, right? Mm -hmm. Because I was trying to do it and then it won't let me. So yeah. I had to change my lot size down a little bit. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. You want to always control your lot size no matter what. So you're not exceeding your, your risk limit. Okay. 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 That's what it is there. Thank okay. you. Sir. You're welcome. Okay. You have a blessed day. You too. Have a blessed week, you guys. Because after today, okay. I'm done. I'm out. All right. Liz and Corey, I see you. I see you. Uh, McCory, I'll make you the last person since you're right there, because I didn't get to talk to you. Hey, Uncle P. Good morning. What up? What up? Oh, I'm I'm just blessed. Uh, and I think when we purchased the uh, Triple Arrow system, we got more, we got more personal development and everything. So keep talking. We don't ever want you to stop. We always need to hear that. You know. I appreciate that. <laughs> so, but I want. Since the market is slow, you know, what I'm doing is going over some of the training, the notes, making sure I understand the patterns that you have posted in the, in the back office and everything. Yeah. And so is there any way you can look at uh, gold for me right quick? Sure can. It shouldn't take long. No, no, girl, relax. It's all good. <laughs> all good. I got you. Yeah. So what I was doing was going over gold, how it's been kind of staying up in the, in the high area and it hadn't been really moving much. And so I see your SpongeBob square head. Yeah. And, uh, you see, I'm marking it up. You yeah. See, I'm marking it up. That's yeah. why I didn't. That's why when it dropped, I okay. knew I was waiting for this thing to pop up. I said, Oh, I see you doing the slant pattern. Boom. Slant for the pattern. Fun SpongeBob. And you the SpongeBob and then you're going to break out of there. And there you go. Now you still stuck up in the air. You stuck right. like Chuck. This is the daily right. time frame. You still stuck up in this area. I, I see you ain't broke out of it. If I go to the weekly, here's what I'm looking at. You still yeah. sitting at the top of this mm -hmm. weekly channel. Exactly. If I drop down to the four hour, 
See? See how I broke out of this little side? This little, watch this, y'all. Look at that SpongeBob square head. See? Yeah. Flat. Yeah. Flat. That's and eventually what it's going to do is drift out of there and break out. But look what it did. Triples came back and now it's sitting mm -hmm. here. So this mm -hmm. looks like it could be a good entry on the fold. So that's what mm -hmm. I'm looking for. Now, right. why did I not enter just yet? Let me show you why. Okay. Let me show you why. Because I'm watching this and I'm still saying, well, it's setting up. It's at the top of the weekly, top of the daily. Everything is looking sexy. One thing is bothering me. And I might have to just, what What do you see? If this is the 15 minute. What you see? What's bothering okay, hold me? Hold on. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, look at my charts. Look at my charts. Tell me, you, tell me at first glance. You should see it. The one thing that's bothering me. Oh, hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, uh, looks like to me, it's, it's stuck between like a, um, what do we call it? Oh, hold on, don't, at Stairmaster? No, 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 hold yeah. on, hold on. Hold you on. Said it all, you said it the first time. Stairmaster? No. No, no, the SpongeBob. Yeah, come on now. There, there you go. <laughs> there you go. SpongeBob. SpongeBob Squid. On the right. On the shorter time frame, it's a SpongeBob Squarehead. So look at this, sis. See, mm -hmm. you know, did it here? SpongeBob kind of just teeter totter, teeter totter, teeter totter, and then what happened? It broke up a little broke bit. Up. It didn't go mm -hmm. far, but it did. But what I see again, it got another one. Right. So right. it's kind of got me concerned about jumping in. And so when I see it flattening out, it tends to go back in the way that it was already drifting. Right. Okay, which means right. if I get in right here with a tight stop, I might get hit. Now, if I choose to take the trade and reduce my lot size to accommodate accordingly, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I put my stop loss up here, right? even if it drifts, it might retest. And what is it saying? Okay, they ain't saying you can do seven lots on this one. Let's just do one. All right, it may you. knock you out, huh? See, if, if you... I'll put it right here, and I'm cool with that. And that's right. what I might do, because, you know, it, 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 I might do that. But I'm just sitting there watching it. I'm just watching it. I'm just watching. I'm just watching. I'm just watching, because it had that SpongeBob Squarehead on the 15 as well. And I right. know when you're doing that SpongeBob on the 15, it's still, man, something bothering me about that, you know, because I know right. you typically do what? What you always been doing, which is what? Break up, boom, stop loss, get hit, then eventually you come back down. And I don't want to now, here's another thing I can do. See, if I trade off the daily, I can put it right there, and I really feel okay. Do right. I want to have that big of a risk? Yeah, well, I'm going to have to really reduce, because that's 390 to just 400 pips. Dang. <laughs> that's a lot. Dang. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's yeah. out of the way of even the SpongeBob square head. So even if it is a small SpongeBob square head on the 15, okay, I'm completely clear. I can do it on the on the daily, or I can move it here on the four hour and move it down a bit, put it right there. Mm -hmm. And then that's what? 306 pips. See, you're gonna have to go hard in the paint if you're gonna play with this, this big boy. Right. And that's okay. That's okay. Watch this. Let me do something. Let me show y'all something. I got a $100 account or a $200 account. Watch what happens. I don't want to scare nobody. I'm going to take 0 0.01, okay? 0 0.01, because I only got a like a $100 account, $200 account, all right? So watch this, I'm going to sell, and let's see what my risk is. Even with putting it right here. All right, there we go. What's my risk? $32. Thirty-two dollars. Yeah, the gold is like a high roller. Right, <laughs> gold that, is... my, that my point is, that's roughly about thirty-two percent of a hundred-dollar account. Right. So right. Even still, if you're comfortable with thirty-two dollars, see how you can still get in on these big time frames, and you can still do your thing without tripping. It's okay. Yes. Even with just a hundred or a two hundred-dollar account, you still are not out the game. You still can play. You just got to reduce your lot size. It doesn't mean that you, oh, man, that's too much of a risk. But you see everybody else clocking pips off these four hours. But you like, well, I only got a $200 account. Just reduce the lot size. If you got 200 bucks in your account, you're only risking $32 on this trade, even with a stop loss that big. All right, let's move it to the daily, sis. 
Let's take a look. Okay. Because okay. I don't want nobody scared out of trades because you're using bigger stop losses. You just right. have to reduce your lot size. All right. So now this is the same 388 pip stop loss. That's a right. lot, right? But with yes. a $100 account, guess what I'm risking? $38.84. Doable. That's doable. <laughs> So yeah. what's the problem? And this is why I, I, I'm a, when people are like, man, no, nah, man, that, that, that stop loss is way too big. No, your mentality is too small. Right, right. Because realistically, right. if you manage your money, even with a hundred or two hundred dollar account, you can still make it. You'll be okay. So don't pass right. up good opportunities on higher time frames if that's what you want to do. But a okay. lot of people think I can't trade big time frame because I got a small, I only got a hundred or two hundred dollars. You still can. Look at that. That's right. only 38 bucks. Right. And what I was doing too is just since the market's kind of slow, mm -hmm. I used gold because I wanted to make sure, you know, I understood the different patterns as you, as they've been taught in the uh, lessons and everything. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. so it's just like gold was like uh, the SpongeBob Squarehead King <laughs> for the last few weeks, you know? Yes. Why? So, Why? because the whole market is completely uncertain and it doesn't know whether to dump gold completely because we don't need you no more. It's, that's a bad relationship. Gold has a bad relationship. That's what's got me confused. I'm like, wait a minute, what really yeah, going what it on? Is. It's really horrible because people use gold just like they use people. Well, when I'm scared, I'll buy me up some gold. When I don't need, when I'm feeling comfortable, I don't need gold, I'm gonna dump you. They, they treat gold just like they do people. Use right. it, right? right? So, but, since they ain't sure whether the whole country gonna come back, and yeah, the whole country is opening back up. So the Dow Jones and the S and P had jumped up and shot up. So yeah, we kind of feel warm and fuzzy about buying stocks again, but we ain't willing to right. let go of the gold yet because we don't know if more coronavirus cases are gonna come out and then they're gonna turn right back around and shut the whole country back down, or we don't know whether the, there is a vaccine that's gonna be effective or not. So they're still clinging on the gold somewhat while still buying stocks simultaneously. That's not right. normal. That's right. not normal. They're being cautious on everything. Bingo. So right. you're getting all these different. Now watch this. You said gold was moving what? Sideways, right? Sideways. Mm -hmm. But didn't we talk to other people in this group this morning? And guess what? They said, oh, GBP, JPY is going sideways. This pair is going sideways. That pair is mm -hmm. going sideways. Mm -hmm. Yes. SpongeBob Squareheads all over the place. So that tells you exactly what I was trying to explain to everybody that the whole market across the board is uncertain. And so it's moving cautiously and that's where you get those sideways situations. Right, right. Okay. okay. All right. All right, thank you, Uncle P. Yep, yep, yep. All right, okay. let me get to Corey. All right, Corey, go right ahead. Let me make sure I got him. Uh, hold on, come on now, I'm mute. How you doing, Uncle Pete? There you go. Yeah. What's up, Corey? All right. Hey, I have uh, two questions for you. Okay. Um, the one question is um, the uh, your dashboard indicator. Mm -hmm. um, do you have when we get signals on our phone mm -hmm. of that indicator? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then also, do you? Right. Have I'm gonna. I want to talk about the new ones yet. That we're gonna have a whole time about that. Uh, we'll talk about all that when that time comes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah, that I, have I promise you, we're going to have more than enough time to talk about all that. We're going to be looking at it in class together. We're going to be, uh, you know, we're going to go, it's, we, we're going to be flipping the script and the whole conversation will be about that. So I promise you, I, I'll cover it at that time. But right now, I don't, I don't do a whole lot of talking because it's, it, there's crooks out there already trying to see our stuff and then what they try to do is kind of like any other product they'll try to see your designs they'll see what you got and then they'll try to put something together to try to make it look like yours and beat you to the market and then by the time yours hit there it looked like you stole it okay from them but that's why one of the things that took a long time was because i filed with the u.s government and i got a patent on my stuff and i got yeah. a lawyer and i got documentation in my email saying that they posted in because they got to publish it and do all this stuff to show proof that I we we the ones. I, I went and got legal legal on this one, okay. so they know we designed it. It's ours. Okay, and then one more question: mm -hmm. um, What uh, lot size 
should you use for a, let me say, say oh, let me, let me say this again. On a standard lot size, how much money should you have in your account to use a standard lot size? Great question. By the way, it, in the manual, it'll have that suggestion. I asked it, I asked if it was okay for me to use the one that Elvis uses because I thought it was really nice and conservative. Uh, let me see, it's usually posted in the group once a week. All right, let me show you this. Let me pull this on the, on the charts real quick. Hold on one second. I got you, bro. Let me pull this on the charts real quick. Hold on. Damn. Damn. Let me see, scroll, 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 right here. You see this? Uh huh. Okay, see how he has it? If you have 100 to $200, so he usually posts this, and I'll go ahead and repost it into the regular group and into the Signals channel so everybody has it. And this is what Mr. Uh, Elvis put together as far as money management. And you'll see this quite often once a week in posting this, I think. So basically, if you have a $100 to $200 account, you shouldn't be trading no more than about two, or which is 3% max. Okay. Two to 300, 3.03, 4% max. Now these are suggestions. I get it. Suggestions. Be like, man, that ain't a whole lot of money. Yeah, it is. It builds quick. But it's just a suggestion. If you have three to five hundred, four. Five to nine hundred, five, which is six percent of your account. If you have a thousand to fifteen hundred, then right there, about six. Why? Because a standard lot, bro, you can if with, with look, if you have a standard lot and using 40 pip stop loss. You're risking four hundred dollars on a thousand dollar account. How many trades can you take if it goes against you? Like what happened today? How many how many trades you wouldn't have? Your account wouldn't make it. Right. You see what I'm saying? So don't rush. Don't don't rush to get to the standard lots real quick. I mean, it's cool to trades with stand with standards. You know that sounds sexy and everything else, but I wouldn't rush to do it. It's more about being consistent, and that's always been a struggle for me being consistent because I get excited about something now I'll be like, you know what, man, I'm finna load up on this thing here. The heck with, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> the heck, man, look, my brother about to load up. I'm finna go <laughs> home run. And you know, that'd be the very trade or the very day the market acts stupid and then I'll be like, man, oh my God. And then you know what God does? He always come back and say, son, you knew better, didn't you? I said, yeah, I knew better. He said, you missed the Forex, man, ain't you? No, he don't talk to me like that, but <laughs> he don't rub it in the brother's face. But, you know, my own conscience be like, man, now you teach this stuff and you know better. You know better. Now, who I actually admire, I actually admire one of my sons. And sometimes he's in this group and he just don't say anything. He likes to sit back and be only, he only spoken here one time, once. But I admire him, my son who trades and he's, he's in this group, he's extremely disciplined. And maybe that's because he's an MMA fighter, boxer and all this stuff. So, you know, he's maybe more disciplined than me. I'm, I'm very, sometimes I can get very temperamental with my trades and this and that. Still making stupid amateur mistakes if I'm not careful, which is why I shared that risk calculator with you guys, because it helps to temper me down. Calm down, Nicaragua, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Up. Don't say that you're being recorded. Stop. Don't say that. But you got to talk real to yourself. I'm from the hood, so I can't sugarcoat when I'm talking to myself. I've got to be real with me because the, the fact is what we're talking about here, everybody, what we're talking about here is self-discipline. Yes, the trade looks perfect. It looks like a great setup. And yes, I, I, I want to make $500 today so I can show off in front of everybody else in the group. Look, I can make $500 a day too. I'm da da da. Or look, my, I got bills, this electric bill coming up. So I need to da da da. But I only got XYZ. But I'm still, man, I'm finna clock this trade. This trade look perfect, da da da. Just like AUD USD did last night. Look perfect, pristine, just ready to go. Come on, baby. I'm finna put this. I'm finna do. Man, look, I got a G-stack in my account. I'm finna go and put a hondo on that thing. I'm finna put a standard 40 pip stop loss and then boom, for you out of $400 more, but you only had $1,000 to play with. How would you feel, brother? Sick. Sick to your stomach. Why? Not only you be pissed that it didn't work out, you're gonna find somebody to blame, but at the end of the day, when it does settle, the question comes back, were you disciplined with your risk management? 
That's yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. I'm always working on that with me. Always, because it's always an issue for me. See, I, you have to know you, and that's where character and integrity comes in. The word integrity means no cracks. What you think, what you say, and what you do all lines up. That's integrity. So if anybody ever, that's one of my favorite words. Integrity means no cracks. It's like a boat. A boat that has integrity, it means there's no leaks in it, there's no cracks, and you can sail on that thing and you're good to go. If it has even the smallest crack, eventually it's going to erode and destroy the entire boat because it doesn't have integrity. And in this business, many people, or what can I rather say, most people do not have financial integrity. They don't. They over leverage, they break rules, they do this and do that because their needs overrule the rules that they said they're going to follow. And I'm included in that. And I don't like to lie to myself, so I don't lie to y'all. I'm a little, yes, I'm Mr. Mr. Forex man, whatever, but I'd rather tell you the truth so that you can learn how the struggle happens so that you can fix this because it happens in this business. And it doesn't matter how long you've been trading, if you don't discipline yourself and get real with yourself, you will always continue to make the same mistakes because you don't have integrity when it comes to following the rules. And that's why I admire my son more than my own self in this business because he's better at that than me. Thank you. you. Thank you. That's what I've been working on. Listen, brother, I will keep it real. Yeah, people say, oh, we keeping it real. No, I'm gonna keep it real, real for y'all. I don't wanna I don't wanna lead, I don't wanna lead you guys wrong by trying to make it seem like I got everything mastered. No, I can master charts. I can tell you what the sponge by square here. I got all that. But when it comes to personal discipline, it tends to be a consistent struggle that most people in this business have failed at. And that's what will slow you down in this business. Lord have mercy. Look, Jesus, is, a bird just came on my patio to say, hey man, you just have fun. hit my window, hey man. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, I'm not playing a bird. Just, did, I don't know if y'all heard that just happened. A bird ain't never come up here. It came up on, oh, man, but I'm just telling you guys the T-R-U-T-H. I don't care who says, you know, hey, well, this and that about Uncle Pete. One thing you're going to get from me is I'm going to tell you the truth because I don't want you guys to struggle like I did or like I do because I want to tell you what the real struggle is. And a lot of this struggle ain't got nothing. Because see, when you lose a trade like today, this last 24-hour period, it was horrible. I'm not going to lie. I didn't like it. I did not like it. I didn't like it. It was horrible. But it's just a 24-hour day. Or maybe it's just a day or two that happens. And I know why. It's a coronavirus. But that has nothing to do with how much I put on that trade. That is a personal issue. And I can go blame as many people as I want to. I can have the worst trading system on the planet and still make it in the business if I learn to manage my money. Because I can always lose several trades and only it only take one or two winners to clean all that up and put me back in profit if I'm managing my money. But if I'm not managing my money correctly and I'm being emotional every time I trade, I got to sit myself down and talk to me and say, and talk real. And so, yeah, nigga, Roger, you, what's wrong with you, bro? Now, that's how I talk to me. Don't talk to your wife or anybody else. No, that's a word I made up for me. But when I look in the mirror, man, look, bro, what is wrong with you, bro? You know better. After I get mad, blaming everything else, like everybody else trying to shift the blame. But one thing I love about God, he don't allow me to keep shifting blame because he says, I'm holding you accountable for what you did. And you need to hold yourself accountable for what you did. Go fix this because you knew better. Amen. Amen. Okay. That's what that's what I'm doing as of today. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, let me do this. Wait, before you go, hold on. I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna slide it into the notification channel and then post it there. And I'm gonna slide it into the super easy forex channel and post it there. So now you guys have it right in front of you. You guys can go right into those channels print it off and have it in front of you so that you can, if you don't want to use the tool that I've told you guys at the beginning of this recording and the indicators in the, in the notification channel where you can simply uh, put in, and let me show you, because some people asked about it, let me show you one more time real quick. This indicator right here, uh, it's called a lot calculator. Okay, and I put the indicator in there. And as you can see, it's real small right here. And what it does is it's asking you two simple things. Just make sure you got both of these boxes checked. 
right here is asking you, what is your stop loss on that trade? So of course you want to go in and measure, you know, this stop loss, grab your crosshair tool okay. and, and measure, you know, let me do that first. Let me do this real quick so everybody can see it one more time before we close out for today. I want to make sure I'm giving you guys everything I got. Please don't email me because I'm tired. I'm going to bed. I am dog tired. I did not sleep in the last 24 hours. And so I'm going to bed on uh, one of the and emails. I'm going to tell them, hey, just tell them to come back next week for questions. Okay. But here's the deal. Let's just say I'm taking this trade right here. Let's go to a lower time frame. Be more reasonable. You can do it on that one too. So let's just say I'm going to take this trade right here. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take this trade and right where the price is now, I'm going to measure where I want my stop loss to be. And right there, it's 58 pips. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into this indicator tool I got. The lock calculator and right there what did i say my pips was gonna be my stop loss how uh, many pips I, I forget 58 pips all right so i'm gonna put 58.0 and then it's asking me how much of your account do you want to risk and i put in two percent that's all i need and then i click okay and close it out and based on my account size with this account, and this is the demo account, okay? And it got like 100 and something thousand in it, or 145,000, okay? So based on the size of this account, it's saying 2% of that tells me I can actually take a trade of 50.25 lot on this trade. Okay. But if you had a $100 account, it would tell you you can take 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 or whatever your risk is. And you can always change this if you want to risk only 1% of your trade uh, of, your, of your account. It, uh, it knows how much money you have in your account. That's what's cool. It knows how much money you have in your account. And then it will apportion it based on the stop loss. It will actually ration it out with that risk number that you put and tell you what your lot size that you can have. So if you only have a $200 account, this would actually say, oh, you can trade 0 0.02 or 0 0.01. Okay. okay, so then when you get ready to trade, then you put in that zero. Yeah, you just look right here. It just, hey, as soon as you click on that bad boy, see, like, look, see, now I just switched to another pair, which is the AUD CAD, and look at what it's telling me. Okay, if you want to risk with a 58 pip stop loss on this one, you can trade with 6.98 lot size. Now, why was the gold different? Because it calculated gold. And that's why I said this really prime, this one is primarily strictly for, for, for currencies, not for gold and other things. That's why you're like, why did it tell you 50 lots on gold, but only this, because it's not really meant for, you know, any, uh, uh, like stocks and indices and gold It's really for currency. So if I was to trade 2% of my account on this trade right here with a 58 pip stop loss is telling me, hey, only take 6.98 on the, on, the, on, the, on the trade. That's what it's telling me. Okay, cool. Okay. That'll work. Now watch this. One more thing before y'all go. Y'all want to see why I said stay away from the sponge, Bob. <laughs> Look at this. Happened Stand again. Up. It's all over the place. That's what I'm seeing. It's all over the place. This is ridiculous. I ain't never seen so many pairs with the same pattern in it. Look at what happened. And it went sideways, boom, 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 boom. And what what I say it typically does? Breakout. Yep. So, sure did. so what when you realize that your pair is doing a sideways move, the best thing you can do for yourself is get out of that trade. Close it out. Even if it's a small loss, just close it out. Call it a day. And for those who are advanced, you can put a pending order. All you do is draw these zones up, put a pending order just in case it breaks out. And if it does, it'll catch your order as it goes along and you'll be in pips that way. But don't sit in this trade. When you see it going sideways, just close the trade out and move on to the next one. Okay? All right. All right, Corey. Thank you, man. I love talking with you, brother. All right. Uh, okay. Let me try to get to... Gerald, I spoke to you already. Let me get to Chooks last because I didn't talk to him. And then, uh, I, and well, actually, I'll take y'all last three. I'll take y'all last three. But let's make it quick. Let's make it quick. All right, Gerald, I'll get you. Chooks, you next. And then, uh, Indira, I got you last. All right.
How you doing again, Uncle P? I appreciate yeah. it. I um, <clears throat> my, I need need it's not class without helping every, as many people as possible. That's why I'm mind staying behind a few extra minutes to try to make sure I'm helping everybody because this is my last class for the week. Don't send emails and all that stuff. I'm here. Talk to me. So I'm going to try to get everybody uh, before I go. Okay, go right ahead. Much appreciation. Uh, what happened was I needed to mute myself real quick, so I couldn't unmute myself. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you didn't hear me at the end. But uh, uh, Corey asked a question about the dashboard, which you said you would address later. So that was yeah, one of my questions. My other, that, yeah, now I ain't talking about none of that new stuff yet. Right. My other question was about uh, what you were talking about earlier as far as uh, binary options. Um, to my understanding, it's basically like, you know, you got a pair and then um, – you're looking for a price to either hit above or below a certain price by a certain time. So what are your current thoughts about binary? Well, I don't trade binaries no more. I've been stopped doing that a long time ago. Um, it's very fast paced and I used to trade off the one minute and 30 second time frame. It's oh, extremely fast paced. I never mention it. I don't talk about it. I don't even trade it no more because you gotta be you gotta be sharp to do that. You really got you really gotta be sharp to do that business. Um, so, and it's a whole different, whole different ball game. Binary, but here's the here's here's the thing. You you have binary comes from the word two ways. That's why you got bisexual. You have bifocals, meaning two. That's all it means. Bi means two. That's all it is. Nothing personal. No, not, nothing personal at all. It just means two. So binary options means you get two options. Either it's going to go up or it goes down. That's why you always see those two buttons. Buy means two. That's all it is. Okay. So when you see binary options, just like in Forex, it's still the same thing. You can only do what? Buy or what? Sell. Buy. So you're still buy binary. It's just different, a different market. They call it something different, but it's still all the same thing. But in binary options, it's much, much faster. That's all it is. Okay. Truth is, it's not worth teaching. Okay, so it's a headache, basically. To teach it, yeah, because a lot of people they gonna want that fast money, but they just they just not gonna do right. Okay, that's right. why there's a lot of things I would teach in, in here. I'm not going to do it because I know if the more it'll put new people in more confusion, like I was, and then more people who've been trading a long time got too much junk in their head and they ain't unscrambled all that mess. Then they got all me adding more stuff in. No, I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. Okay, cool. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, man. All right. And Chooks. Hey. Hello, Chooks. How are you? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, talk still, to me. Still hanging in here. No, I just want to appreciate you for for yesterday. Uh, so I couldn't join at the beginning because, as I said in the chat, I was uh, busy. So, yeah. and uh, so I decided not to because I didn't want to to be at. I don't want to put my job at risk. So I don't want you to either. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so that's why. So, but I will I will go through the recording and then uh, sure. and I will try to understand it. So I just want. I hope you remember that it's the same choose of yesterday. Yeah. So I yeah, so I just wanted to appreciate the the effort you made yesterday and all of that. And I appreciate you too, yeah, man. And um, it was a great conversation um, that we had. And just I appreciate you. Just come on, keep coming back when you can. But like I said, hey, if you have work, that's why we record this for those. I do, and when, let me say this, Chooks, before I let you go. When I talk about we have fourteen over fourteen hundred people in this group. And I don't like the fact that it's only 150, 160 people coming to class. There are a lot who go back and listen to it later because they're working. I know that. I know that there's a whole lot of people who joined the group, slapped the indicators on, never looked at any tutorial video, never came to class, never look at a replay, and yet they're the ones who struggle the most talk about this stuff don't work. That's the people who I'm talking about. But those who's at work and all this, I ain't got no problem with you. I know, do do your thing. Don't come to class if you're working and you don't, no, it ain't worth jeopardizing your job. Don't worry about that. I'll be here and you can always hit me up when you can. And if not, we'll record it for you. I have no problem with that. I just don't, I have a problem with lazy people. Because some people like you, you're working. The other lady, she's working. So if you can't come every week, so what? No big deal. That's fine. That's why we record it. We got you. But the lazy people are the ones who I got a problem with. 
because the lazy people are the biggest complainers. They don't want to do the work, but they always are the top complainers in anything that they do. Why? Because they're bringing their bad habits with them of laziness, procrastination, wanting something, nothing. And I don't like dealing with them kind of people. Okay? Yeah. All right, brother. Talk to you next yeah. week. Thank you so much. I yeah, appreciate man. it. Thank you. All right, let me get to this young lady. Uh, uh, Indira, I think you, uh, that's your name. I hope I said it right, because I know you're brand new, and I want to make sure you were the last person for today. Marcellus, hello, man. All right, so anyway, um, Indira, okay. you have a question. You'll be the last person. Okay. Oh, um, it's Kiamat, so, um, I was checking out some time frames, right, and I came across GBP, right? Okay, GBP, G Swift. Yeah. Hold on one second. Let me go there with you. Okay. All right. And that's if we're doing the scare master, I automatically know I should go straight to the four hour time frame. Okay. Right. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. So, on the four hour time frame, I saw the triple arrows. Then um, right where you see in that last red candle there, I saw the green dot, right? Mm -hmm. So then I went over to 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. I saw the triple arrow, but now the triple arrow is not there. Yep. So, um, but um, is that okay? Here's the reason why. No, nope, here's the reason why. What I keep telling you guys, this is un. What's the the the, the uh, these politicians? They make these words up to sound real professional, and then they all use it over and over and over again, and then it just sounds stupid. You know, like man, can y'all? Everybody saying the same word. It's unprecedented. It's unprecedented. I'm so tired of hearing that word. Make something else up. But in this situation, it's unprecedented how many sideways SpongeBob Squareheads we're seeing all across the board. And this is why I'm telling you guys, don't take any trade personal that you may lose. But the moment you see this, do you see this SpongeBob Squarehead? See how that flat? Yeah. What did I say? When you see it going sideways, what do you do? You stay out of that trade. Watch this again, sis. Watch, watch, watch. And I'm glad this is recorded. Please, you guys, on this weekend, go back and play this. Because as soon as I see these, I do not take the triple arrow. See, this is a this is a a, a um this is a demo account. So I ain't tripping. I can show you guys examples, but that don't mean I'm gonna take it on my live account. Why? Because when I see too much of this, here's what I actually will do. This is telling me one thing. What do you think I'm thinking in my head I should do when I'm seeing all this? All over the place. What do you think I'm telling myself that I should do? Flag on the play. Flag on the play. Flag. Okay, but I didn't author, author, this just, uh, hold on, hold on, I'm gonna help you out. Look in the chat room. Author just put the answer. Okay, Hedy, oh, okay. the answer too. Okay, well, I, I didn't notice that before, but um. But here's what I'm saying, I'm saying this. I want you to follow what I'm saying. When it's too much of this going on, the best thing you can do is one of two things. Just don't take no trades, just chill out, study, whatever. Or you can take some and demo where it don't matter, where your feelings ain't gonna get hurt. But right now, this market is uncertain. I, I'm, I'm telling you, I haven't seen this many of the SpongeBob Squareheads on so many pairs at all at the same time. I have not seen that. But here's how you guys, watch this. Now, I'm giving you a little something for those who stayed behind. See, we had 160-some people, 50-some people left. Those who stayed behind, praise God, I'm going to tell you. If you actually are looking at what I'm showing you, now, don't get confused if you're new. Don't even worry about what I'm saying. If you're going to get confused, just act like I ain't saying nothing. But if you pay attention to what I'm showing you, you can see how you can make a few pips because it's consistently doing the same thing. When it goes sideways, if you already know what direction it's heading in, then it goes sideways. You can put an order right here or be on the lookout for it so that when it comes out of this sideways thing, it's going to continue in the same direction that it originally started. So it's like a waterfall, which by the way, I don't know if you guys can hear it. I keep a waterfall thing on my desk 
So it ain't like I'm under the, my desk peeing on myself, okay? <laughs> I actually have a waterfall. So it starts at the top, goes through this little cute thing, but eventually it goes where? Right on down. So it's the same thing. It's creating a waterfall. Right here, this waterfall is going down. It came down, went sideways, real cute, but then it continued the waterfall, came down, real cute, and then dropped through, okay? You see that? Yeah. So every time it's doing this sideways pattern, you can put a, a watch on it or they have what's called a pending order. And I'm not going to cover that because some people are brand new. I don't want to confuse them. But you can put in what's called a pending order. And as soon as this thing breaks through here, it'll pick up your order and boom, you made profit. Same thing on gold. That's what I was trying to show the other sister. Right here, I, it's doing the same pattern. That's why I'm not going to take it. Even though I love it, I see it, but something just, I, I just don't like that. This is a triple arrow setup I'm just not going to take. I don't take every triple arrow setup I see, especially when I'm seeing a SpongeBob square head. Look at that. Look at there. Look at there. Okay. You see that flatness? Yeah. Okay. So it could. Now, originally, what direction was it going? It went up. Oh, so I see this this here and triple arrows came in. We only had two arrows right here, not the triple. But the point is, did it make some pips? Yeah, it did. Right here, look. It made, you know, 66 pips. So did it work? Yeah, it will work. But don't expect it to go long term. What I'm seeing is, okay, it's teeter-tottering, teeter-tottering. So if anything, I'm waiting for this to break out of this zone because that's what is creating a zone. And if anything, it may pop up and boom, shoot up here. So I put in what's called a, now I ain't said nothing. If you brand new, you don't see nothing I'm doing because you're going to be confused and then send a whole bunch of emails and I ain't answering. So just ignore it. But if you want to see what's a, what I do, this is called a buy stop, like a bus stop. You know how bus, you sit at the bus stop and that's the bus is going by, it comes and pick you up? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So here's a buy stop or sale stop. So if it's a continuing going up, it's called a buy stop. If it's continuing going down, it's called a sell stop. So if anything, I'll put myself a, sell, a buy stop in, and what do you want? To, it's going to ask you, well, that's a pending order, meaning that when it, if it happens, it'll come and get you. If not, your order will not get filled. So I'll put my order just a little bit right about here, okay? And I'll say, okay, if you pass through 7, 1753.77, okay? So that's what it's asking me. What number you want to put in? 1753.77. Well, where you want your stop loss to be? Well, I'll put it right about here, and that'll be 1749.11, okay? 1749.11. Now I place it, and that's called a pending order, okay? Meaning, watch this, and look at the bottom, okay? And I'll get out all this. This one's not. Because I'm done for the week. Now, you'll see that I actually have an order sitting right here. Now, am I actually in this trade yet? No, but if it goes and hits this area that I gave instructions for it to do, it'll automatically fill my order and get me in and my stop loss is right there. And I'll show you how it worked out on this one because I just saw it. Boom, see how that one came on through there, broke through and shot up? See that? So my order would have been right here. It would have been filled, and I would have automatically been up in pips. Boom, when you broke out of there, that would have been 32 pips for me as you broke out of this zone. So if any trade I'm going to take, I'll do that. But you brand new, so act like I ain't say nothing, okay? I ain't said nothing. All right? Yep, because I am confused. <laughs> Don't worry about nothing I just said. That was actually for more advanced people. But one day... You're going to be advanced too, and then you're going to come back and remember what I said about this. And you're going to be like, oh, man, that was so easy. You get it. Uh, um, but all you need to know for now as a new person, mm -hmm. whenever you see this side stuff going on, do not take the triple arrow trade. Do you see what I'm seeing? Yeah. I was going choppy and sideways. Yeah. Do not. I don't care if it was a triple arrow for sale. Do not take the trade. Number two, if it starts off looking real sexy and then you start seeing it going into a sideways thing, close out 
the trade. Don't stay in it. Okay. Now this is recorded. So the nice part about it being recorded, you can play this back 500 times until it rings in your head and you get it. So as a new person, you're never lost because this is recorded and I'll post this up later on. And when it does, continue to use this as a tutorial for you, okay? Um, I have a question, right? Consider the triple arrow. Um, could triple arrow be like any arrow, like what is three arrows? Could it be like three arrows facing the same direction or it has to be the big arrow, the yellow arrow and the small arrow? That's what the triple arrow is. Anything oh. else is not triple arrow. Okay. okay. Look, and I'm, not must... telling you, I'm not telling you can't trade them, but you're new. So just stick to what you what we say. Triple arrows, and that's why you're, I'm, for you, I'm really excited to present the new system because this is going to be even, you're not going to even have that question in about two weeks when we release it. You're not going to even have that question in your mouth. Okay. It's, it's, it has a whole different look to it all together, whole different look. And it functions differently, so you're not going to even. So if you if you're still a little bit confused, just just study what you can for now, and don't worry about it, because in two weeks this is all going to look a completely different and a whole lot simpler for you. In essence, sis, let me tell you. When we built the system, we had people like you in mind. That's why we tried to. Somebody asked, why did we change up and try to make it even more simpler? Because people like you, who's brand new and still a little bit confused on this, when you see the new one. You shouldn't have no confusion. Yeah. It's going to be even easier than this. But all you need to know, the one thing that's going to still be the same, even with the new one, which is why I'm telling you, pay attention to these patterns, these price action patterns. That is where in the rules, we're still saying the same thing. Do not take the setup if you see this happening, because the same thing is still going to happen. When it's choppy like this, it's, it's a continuation pattern that's going to break out of this zone and shoot the wrong way. So don't take those trades. So I need you to pay attention to this. But if you're confused on all these arrows and stuff, don't worry about it because in two weeks it's going to be different for you anyway. And you're going to be like, oh, my God, this is wonderful. I can see it easy. You're going to see, you'll see. Okay. Yeah. I got you. I got you. Just chill. I got you. All right. Um. All right, sis. Have a good weekend. All right. I didn't say my uh, Marcellus name, but I'll let you be the last one. Marcellus, what's up? And make sure you're unmuted. Yeah, Marcellus, what's up? Okay, I guess he didn't have a question. All right, y'all, I'm out of here. I'm way over time, but uh, it was well worth it. I love you guys. I hope you guys got some value. If you guys got some value out of today's class, please type a number five in the box. Praise God. I stay behind as long as I need to, as long as time allows me to make sure I'm helping as many people as possible to, to get it so that you can make some money. Okay. So again, for those who are a little more advanced now, even in this choppy market, if you see these, you kind of have an idea of how you can still make money. And that's the benefit of being adaptable. Okay. Knowing how to change when the market weather change. All right. Cause this was some good freaking pips. God, I'm on a call with y'all. I missed this one. Look at that. Boom, that's 38 pondos right there. 38 pipperoos, simply off the SpongeBob Squarehead. Okay, you guys, I'm out of here. Have a blessed weekend. Talk to you later.